get rid of my fuck camera on this. And we're on a two minute delay. Holy fucking balls. We are live. Bear with me, folks, as I get this ready.
What up, everybody? I'm uh, getting stuff set up here. Jesus, I didn't even pick up this shit. We got a tournament today. I'm not even awake, boys and girls. We have a fucking stack tournament. All right, guys. Hi, Finesse. We got a tournament going. There we go, guys. Fries and pies. I think I can beat Trigger. My brain isn't even working, guys. Fries, I would have loved to have you play. So I could flame you, Fries. No, I would actually look. Finesse. Oh, finesse. Wait, is Han Mano here? Han Mano is here. I'm Royal Winner. <laughs> I forgot to say hi to Han Mano. We good to go, guys. Uh...
All right, let's see what we got. Get wrecked. All right. Uh. All right, we're going to do Quanta versus Neo Shaggy. For game one. Okay. All right, here we go. We're late, but we're... I'm getting a uh, quota versus Neo Shaggy. My fucking light. Jesus. See, my stream can't start without swearing anymore, you know? It's just the way it goes, I guess, huh? It's the way she goes or so she goes. <clears throat> just waking up here late because I got barely any sleep at that. But I think I might be able to go to bed tonight. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Gresfin in the orange. Give it up for Quanta. And his opponent in the upper left. Representing Yaxer. Give it up for Neo Shaggy. And a deal. Little TVZ for you. So many good players. We had 36 people sign up, but 26. Checked in still. Uh, lots of banger series, I'm sure. Wish we had some more coverage. And, uh... Yeah. And a big thank you to Vlad and Billy Utters for putting up the money for this. Hopefully we have Flapjack coming in at some point here. I don't know where my phone is at that. It's going to be a hatch first for Neo Shaggy. Neo Shaggy's not cheesing right off the rip. What the heck? Who are you and what have you done with Neo Shaggy? Now, I've seen him play some macro games, but he uh, he's definitely a cheeky player sometimes. Uh, it's kind of like my boy Filibuster, you know? That said, I didn't take my medicine, so you guys are going to have a little moment of big oofs here. And I need to go on teamliquid.net. So I'm going to follow this uh, SCV here real quick. What the hell? I got Berry Crunch going live? What the fuck? I have shit open that night. Oh, let's see here. I need to go live on teamliquid.net, I forgot. And, uh, yeah. It is going to be a scout from Quanta. And we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a show match between Eric Fire and Four Jumi G's. Oh, uh, well, it's going to be a CC first. Bear with me, I just say something. All right. <clears throat> Well, looks like killed Drone in the hatch is denied from Neo Shaggy. Quanta getting God's work done with this Reaper. My bad, guys. How you doing, Magic Turtle? Uh, just again, being last minute, I had a little few. Wow! This Reaper's doing God's work. Two kills. It's a really delayed third. So we have a two base Zerg. What this could do is force two base Muta. If our Zorgi Zerg was thinking about it. Or wanted to do it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. 
How you doing, Proton Electron? All right. All righty, here we go. Well, looks like we got some pretty good creep spread considering the creep nerf and the fact that uh, Quanta has done God's work with that one Reaper before. Uh, it is going to be a battle back play. Look at this from Quanta. Sorry about that, guys. Triple factory. So he's going Hellions and Cyclones getting an armory. All right, with that said, we'll see what happens here. You know, Shaggy just queening and droning up. I do like the fact that he set up a wall here. Uh, Cyclone's going to be a bit of a problem, but they're not a... Uh, oh, my goodness. Overlord's getting shrecked. This is actually kind of a scary push from our Heron player. However... No lock on on the banshees or, or the banshees, the bane legs. Jesus Christ, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, lots of damage. Done. Hang on, guys. Hey, man, these cyclones are getting some work done. And we'll see what happens. Oh my god, Cyclone's wrecking the Queens. This looks like it could be game pretty quickly here. There's just too much battle mech. The Cyclone's doing God's work. Look at these things. These are uh, getting all sorts of work done, namely all the Queens lost. Jesus. Decent, as uh, Bubbles would say. Overlords and Queens and drones falling. Even with the Hellions dying, the Cyclones have tanked a lot of this. Zerglings not able to find much damage either. And our Zerg player looks like he's in a lot of trouble. He just lost too much. He's trying to get into Rochi, boys. The problem is Cyclones against Roach. Oh, God, the Roach is even being picked off over here. Broodwing's going to help a little, kind of. Look at Cyclones. This is nuts, guys. And yeah, I don't think this is going to be on for too much longer for... Oh my god, I lost internet. I hope I didn't like the players. We lost internet again. Good old Spectrum internet. Yeah, look at this supply. There's absolutely nothing left in Neo Shaggy. He's trying to hold on and hope in a dream, but GG's called. And he is going to, uh, Quanta's going to take game number one. And hang on, I have, uh, Kano's going to be casting. Wanta and Neo Shaggy. All right, let's see here. Wait, did Vindicta get? Uh, they didn't check in. Shit. 
That sucks. We don't have MIGs playing. I was on Hopium. Yeah, well. All right, we're going on to game number two. Oh, the oh the bot's not on. Sorry. I guess I could turn the bot on. I'm gonna mute TTS. You can use the bot though, a little bit. All right, anyway. Spotting in the upper left-hand corner of Babylon, representing Team NV. Give it up for our orange Terran player. It is Quanta. And his opponent in the bottom right. Representing Axer. And the teal, it is Neo Shaggy. Game number one was a little scrappy. It was not expecting battle, Mac. As my brain is just waking up. And uh, we get into this. Let's see what happens. Too bad. Way to go, Dave. Just donated $25. Way to go, Dave. Donated $25. Whoever of you that go, was. Dave. Way of the Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $25. You're dead, Gene Sim knows why. Sip it down. I hope you're all right. Rigatron? Yeah, I mean, I've done the other ones in the past. Uh, but we got back to it. This is thanks to Vlad and Billy Utters putting down the money for the Dave test. I open number five. Oh, Pikachu. You didn't see it? I didn't. I, I mentioned it, but uh, I apologize. I'm actually running late. The player's... We're kind enough to go. They're like, Dave, it's now getting later for us, but we got it rolling, so. I'm waiting for Flapjack supposed to be casting, too, guys. How you doing, Rigatron and everybody else? Yeah, if you want to help out, please use the Matcherino codes. Exclamation mark Matcherino. It, all you have to do is create an account and click claim code, and it donates 25 cents toward the current tournament for free. Thank you for the $25 from Way to Go, Dave. We had 36 people sign up for this, but 26 checked in. Sadly, we have no Vindicta and uh, some other players that were really based, but it's all right. They got right. Everybody's got stuff going on. And uh, I do sound a little shot because I'm just waking up. So forgive me. I do got a fresh pot of coffee on. All right. Barracks factory open over here, and we'll see what happens. A Reaper out on the map. Oh, my goodness. Actually, this is a decent defense this time, but... Quanta is denying an expand again for Neo Shaggy. Neo Shaggy is uh, forced to go on a more of a two-base kind of play. Let's see if we have Battle Mech again. And guess what? We have Battle Mech again. At least a double factory opener from Quanta. He is liking the battle mech today. Ooh, drone is going to make its way out, but this is quite late. Queen is going to be there to intercept the Reaper, but... And Metabolic Boost is going to finish soon for the Lynx. So quite the delayed third for Neo Shaggy, but you know what? He at least is going to drone up. He has creep tumor spread. So he is definitely going to get some creep out. Connect the bases. Reaper is going to find the hatch. Let's see if Neo Shaggy can get the units he needs to hold this. I really wouldn't hate an early Baneling Nest because of the, the time he spent there. He's been droning it up. Getting those queens out is obviously good, but just in case his opponent does something crazy. Okay. 
Another tech lab going down. It is going to be Cyclones and Hellions again. A battle mech opener. Did Vili come through? Uh, not yet. We will see. Yeah, we we can worry about that after the tournament's over, too. Hopefully, Billy comes in here. We gotta hit him up, Vlad. Thank you. Are you guys come? Yeah, coming in. We gotta get Flapjack though, too. <laughs> but uh, guys, I do apologize. Fortunately, my sleep I think will be fixed. A little bit here because let me tell you i didn't sleep much and woke up many times all medicated oh all these overlords in the front are gonna be annoying when cyclones come out and this is just hidden yo shaggy i really wish he had sent out an overlord earlier he could have scouted this it's an annoying style of play against but he does have a group of wings no bailing nest no okay he's researching plus one melee and yeah, but no Overlord presence. That means our Terran player is, oh my God, gonna roast the hell out of this queen. Drones forced to be pulled. This time they are gonna be pulled. Now one thing to note, Neo Shaggy before didn't clean up cancellations on the eggs. If you cancel the cocoons, you get your money back mostly. And uh, units don't just get roasted immediately. Oh my God, look at the chain in Cyclones in action. Lings try to pounce on this, but there's just too much. Queen's over here trying to transfuse. This is a frustrating style to play against when you're Zerg. But, oh. Especially with the rework of Cyclones. Hatch actually struck. At least the drones were saved, but they can't really go anywhere. A layer on the way. And uh, plus one melee is a ways away. Damn, this looks frustrating for Neo Shaggy to play against. And like I said, historically, Neo Shaggy's been kind of a cheeky player. So I'm surprised we didn't see a cheese in game number two. Quanta just coming in. GG. Hitting that battle mech. What are you talking about, Seba John? All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, the Mohawk beat Mixu.
Universe, how you doing? What's up, guys? Right, let's take a look at the bracket. Mixu got knocked out. Oof. Alrighty. Two O's. Poppy two O'd. Alright, I'm going to EU. Wait. <clears throat> We're going to see who we have next. We have some other casters. I'm letting them know. The Vlad the Four. Bang, how you doing? Hi, Han Mono. What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? Bear with me. We're on a two-minute delay. Thanks for the follow, the Mohawk. And congrats on your victory over Mixu. Uh, yeah, we are on a two-minute delay here. We'll see what happens. We're going to be doing Christiana versus Poppy. Wait, maybe I'm not. Okay, Kneehead versus Geralt. I was going to get Poppy and uh, Christiana. And I should have set up my tournament thing. Actually, either way around, mixing Axio. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for playing the Mohawk. Oh, man, my glasses aren't even... Fuck! Sorry about that. Damn, I could have started a whole series. All right. Protoss OP. Is that Han Mono? That's Han Mono. <laughs> yeah. My man Han Mono plan, too. All right, here we go, guys. 
Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Dragon Scales, representing Psystorm Gaming. Oops, what am I doing? He is up a point. Give it up for Geralt. My Polish buddy. And his opponent at the bottom right, representing the Daredevils. It is Kneehead. In the red. Geralt is up a point. It is a PBT. So I guess I'm going to be bouncing around. <laughs> and uh, players, if you don't mind sending replays, if you get knocked out, if you get ahead at the end, I don't cover you especially. I want to try to get a replay pack together. Uh, the Vlad the Floor is going to be casting as well on his channel. I don't know what Flapjack's doing just yet. And yeah, hang on a second, guys. And yeah, I have to actually check my phone just in case Flapjack's messaging me too, which is in the other room, but we got a game draw going over to be annoying. It is going to be a double gas opener for me, Ed, by the way. Jarrell also, no, it looked like he, for a second I thought he was going for a double gas. It was just the Sim City, And old man Dave waking up here a little bit. Wow, we'll see what happens. Jarrell is going to keep the probe alive. He did make his way out before the second supply depot's out. It is going to be a Reaper Factory opener. Is this going to be something like, as us on NA would say, the quote Dolan build? Is it going to be some kind of armory first build? Is it going to be some kind of push? Or is it just going to be... A very aggressive TVT style opener in TVP. So base, basically Reapers and Hellions. Oh, look at this. Geralt going for a proxy. Let's go. Is it going to be proxy Stargate? I do know Geralt likes proxy Stargate in TVT, and that might not be a bad opener. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Is this going to be... What's it going to be? Other than a reactor in the barracks so far. Um, yeah, it is going to be a proxy. No, gate. Let's go. Geralt going for a proxy gate. Starport on the way. It is going to be a tech lab. For Kneehead. Uh, with that said, Reaper is going to find its way into the main base. And uh, we'll see what happens. Am I? Or am I? Splurge, thank you, you for the 13 months. Splurge miss you too, buddy. Subscribed. Yo, I I miss you, homie. Black th heart. Thank you, buddy. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Splurge. Stalker trying to get some damage done here. Uh, Reaper is going to hold up. Oh, I don't think Geralt can take all this on with the. Well, he's got to make decisions. Whoa, no, one of the stalkers dangerously low. But then again, this bio, other than the Reaper, if he targeted the uh, Marines, they'd be in a lot of trouble. There's no bunker with this. It is going to be a Cloak Banshee opener, however. And it is going to be a Twilight for Geralt. He's not going to have detection. So, just yet, anyway. Geralt's trying to get some value. These supply depots are certainly going to be held. The Marines are getting cleaned up, at least. Geralt's feeling very good about this, I'm sure. Cleans up another Marine. All the boys are pulled. Geralt going to try to get a lot of damage done. Cloak Banshee is not out by for a while. Still, again, Geralt does not have a factory. Oh, my God. Look at this pressure. Geralt playing a little bit like Dave here, but there is a tank with this. So it's a Cloak Banshee tank push. Actually, the Banshee's being hidden here. Kneeheads is trying to be patient. This is going to be scouted by Geralt. However, he is getting a robo because he's just going into, like, probably three or four gate blink behind it. Adept's gonna make their way on top of the tank. Killing SCVs, killing Marines. Actually, they're killing the Marines first. They're chiseling at the tank, forcing a lift off. The Banshee's going on the other side of the map, but Kneehead's trying to hold this. Oh my god, second Banshee coming out. Geralt isn't gonna have his robotics facility yet, but it is gonna be double powered. Stalker's surrounded, but let's take a look here. In total, it's nine workers fallen so far, but this is all ultimately going to be cleaned up. 
It is 17 to 44 workers, though. So Banshee's getting worked on or not. It's going to be a little annoying, but nonetheless, our Protoss player, I think, holds. And he's done some devastating damage, forcing the uh, CC on the high ground. Geralt trying to buy time, mitigating damage where he can. Observer's out. He lost seven workers, but I don't think it matters. Third base even trying to go down, but I think that's going to have to be canceled. Geralt doesn't have blink yet. He did lose some units. Let's take a look. Five stalkers, four adepts, and a probe. In terms of numbers, it looks worse for Geralt, but it's not going to be. Is he going to cancel that? Oh, yes, he does. And that's a smart move to cancel that. Geralt getting some good picks. On to... The first Banshee. Banshee's going to make its way across. There's a little bit... Look at this paltry force going across the map. Poor Kneehead getting picked apart here. Still, he's got a pretty... It's going to be annoying with push because Geralt doesn't have really a ton of production. And one of the gates is even going to be in trouble. Uh, as is the Robo. The Robo has a second pylon power in it. But Geralt's going to go across the map and try to hit it, I think. No, is he going to recall? What's going on here? He's trying to fight this off. I think. No recall. Geralt's going to go in from behind. He's not trying to follow up with a forge BR. Not a forge. Charge follow up. But one of these is going to go down. Tank? It's only one tank. So never mind. This push is basically held. Most of the Marines getting cleaned up before the bunker's done. GG well played. Geralt cleanly takes this up. Got knocked out. Hey, thank you, Arnold Drimmer. Got knocked out by Trifax. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I see a blood. Hang on a second, guys. Oh, Vlad, oh. Vlad the fourth. Guys. There we go. All right. Change. Guys, Vlad's going to be covering some stuff. Ah, fuck. Panic new is a thousand MMR difference is hard felt. Yes. All right, guys. Christian or Poppy's going on. I'm going to go out to NA. See what's going on. Uh, let's take a look at the bracket. Draw waiting on other stuff. Genio and, and Mike's deploying. Really, they not upgrade update stores.
All right, guys. Hey, thanks for the follow. Panic new. Bear with me. I'm going to see what's going on here. Geralt's going to think I'm not wanting to cover him. I think Geralt's going to move some booty a little bit, but we got battle booty. All right, so Battle Booty versus Quanta. All right. How you doing, Farrell? What's up, buddy? I did see your message after. I'm just running late here. But anyway, we are just starting this fresh one. All right, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of Royal Blood. Give it up for Team NV's Quanta in the orange. Good to see a Feral, Nate Diggity, and everybody else. And his opponent in the upper right, representing Berserker Esports. Give it up for Battle Booty, Mr. Battleby. Monster player. Love to see him. Got ourselves a little Terran versus Terran here. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Double gas opener from Battleby. Quanta not rushing in just now. I mean, it's not a... Oh, he's going for... No. He may be going for a uh, Reaper Fast Expand, which is a bold move in TBT, as some of you and many of you may know. For you StarCraft enjoyers. Usually you're doing a double... Oh, my gosh. I'm losing internet. Not my internet again. Today it's acting even worse. I am so a little upset about that. It is going to be a Reaper fast expand from Quanta. He's just going to defense. If we do this, drop the supply depot. The scout after the SCV scout does. Tell him what's going on. So I think he feels a little safe. Battle B not going to push out until he has another Reaper. So this should leave Quanta at least defensive. Wait, he's going to... Why is he going to rescout? Is he going to try to pick a Reaper with one Reaper? That leaves him a little less defensive back home. But again, I think if he's trying to catch it, it's all right. It's going to be a Marine follow-up, actually, for Battle B. Battle B does have some very cheeky builds, so I'm curious to see what happens. Like a little off uh, off meta. That said, it's going to be a marine follow-up for Quant as well. He's going to have that faster CC, but his tech's going to be delayed, uh, which is going to be there. Thank you for climbing the codes. Yeah, guys, exclamation mark Matcherino. Thank you about that. Please, I do appreciate it. Nate Diggity, putting puppy, looking for codes to any of you. Even if you're playing and you're between or you got knocked out, help the tournament out. Claim those codes. All right. Well, Star Park going down, and we'll see what happens. Three Reapers and a Hellion going to push out for Battle Booty. And we do just have two Marines back here. It's going to be a Reaper and a Marine and the Reaper Cliff. That's actually pretty cool. And the first Hellion out is for, open for Battle B. Tech Lab going down for him as well. And uh, the CC going to finish up for Battle B. He is going into a tech lab on a star port already, getting his first psych loan out. Quanta is looking pretty defensive. Neither player really getting too much information just yet. 
Quanta did more uh, scouting, but I think Battle B is pretty confident in what's going on. Even has the Reaper and or Hellion rather in the center of the map to scout a push. I do like that. Everything's kind of normalizing now here. It is Terran versus Terran. I'm supposed to do a musical cast on this sometimes too, guys. But I didn't really practice it. And I am waking up, so at an embarrassing time. It's 3.30 p.m. and I'm still waking up. All right, Cyclone is out, and we'll see what happens. All right, Refinery going down, third CC going down for Quanta, and Battle B being extra bold. So I'm not going to call him Battle Bold for this one because he's being a bold man, taking a third CC on location. Again, this game is pretty much normalized. Quanta a little behind an army supply. These guys, not. I don't even really agree with the Reapers. That was for defense at this point because neither player pushed out. They could have almost skipped and went on to like more tech, more units. He's starting to pump out marine production or something earlier. Funnily enough, there is a tech lab chilling over here. I think the... Is the starport going to switch back or is he just going to build a barracks? <gasps> really strange from Quanta. Alright, the two barracks following up for Battle B. Uh, pretty similar for Quanta. And uh, we have a scan from Quanta. Seeing what's going on over here. But again, the game is pretty normalized. Honestly, Battle B's doing okay. Let's take a look at... No, well, we didn't have WCS on or Observer++. Plus Plus. How are you guys doing, Woodhead? Neat diggity, thank you for that. Yeah, guys, click lame code on Matchrino. All you have to do is make an account, and it donates 25 cents to the players. Uh, bear with me as I'm in between. I gotta help flat out and help tournaments. All right. Apologies, I got some admin work going on here. Oh, Quanta using a barracks to scout or a drop. That's interesting. Battle B just making Vikings and uh, siege tanks. The same thing going on the other side. So no medevacs from me there. We're not going to see any YOLO B on style. And for those of you that watch my stream regularly, you know, I am a big fan of Mr. B on with the B on drops. Lord knows I cover enough TVT these days. I like the setup on the side. Like, neither player's dropping, though. This is actually pretty comical and an interesting choice from Quanta. I don't think I've seen that too often. So, obviously, some little stylistic differences here. The Cyclone Wars. It looks like Battle B is going to survive. All right. All right, just a second. Sorry about that again. We're uh, getting into it. Hellions kind of posturing out, trying to find some damage, but they're not going to break a tank line with Marines. Combat shields on the way. Battle B already has stem. Uh, Quanta going into mech. Quanta's just playing mech every time. Look at this. He's scouting that. I was going to call it before. Uh, yeah. And Marines and Medivacs coming out. We'll see what happens. 
Planetary Fortress is getting started up for Battle B. He's going to find out this is Mech. I wouldn't have hated to scan from him. I mean, the Hellions are probably going to tip it, their hat to it. Ooh, tanks getting pounced on. Going to have to unsiege. SCV's in trouble, but the unsiege tank's going to clean up one of the Hellions. Another going to go down. How many SCVs are falling? Looks like a couple are certainly going to get hit. And that said, it is a double armory build with mech. I think this is going to be scouted out that it's mech. I mean, it's TVT, so it can work out. It's going to be lots of tanks. Uh, probably blue flame Hellions. Yep. And we are going to have ship weapons, vehicle weapons, and plating. That's triple armory upgrades being researched. Alrighty here. You threw so hard, status. Would have too old. Oof, I'm sorry, buddy. Thank you for playing. We do appreciate all you guys. And again, send me the replays if you played. And even if you're sad you got knocked out, I want the replays because we can get some other casting. Even after the fact. All right. And this is a pretty big push. Army supplies looking pretty even still. Some little trades in favor of... Alrighty. Well, the blue flame hell that's actually kind of a scary mech armory. It has a bunch of upgrades. I do like that Battle B is playing bio, but going into concussive shell marauders with this is gonna be nice. Look at how many racks he has. He's on eight racks. Uh he's got so many CCs, but so does Quanta. Quanta getting two more. Uh interestingly enough, he's going into smart servos as well, which is what you usually do for battle mech. Obviously, we're not going to be into Cyclones just yet. Oh, my God. Look at this scrappy air battle. But I think Battle B just has the numbers in the air. Uh, let's take a look at the air upgrades. Both have ship weapons plus one. And guess what? Better anti-armor missiles. Actually, the anti-armor missiles went at the same time. But there's just so many more Vikings. And now there's a bio drop dropping these down. But the thing is, is the... Un look at that play from Quanta. Very interesting stuff. He's actually setting up so he's unseached tanks to kill the drops. Because normally if all the tanks are sieged, you drop a marine at a time. And it causes massive friendly fire against uh, the sieged tanks. So that's actually kind of a smart play from Quanta. But still, the Battle of the Skies was won by Battle B. More like Battle of the Air. <sighs> Okay, many CCs going down. Oh no, not the fight that Battle B was looking for. Maybe he's trading out. Quanta going into Thor's now. Advanced Ballistics and five Liberators coming out on top of the Liberators already here. Lib's getting the good work. And Ship Weapons plus two coming as well. Means better Vikings. Well, they both have that. And these plus two Libs are going to be good. However, Thor's are going to be a bit of a problem against this. That said, Quanta leading the army supply. Uh, I think the siege position's a little better for Quanta. Nice pickup from Battle B. He's going to try to drop over here with the Marauders. Force and friendly fire against some of the tanks. The Thor's going to be a bit of a problem, but there's lots of tanks. Liberator's just now out of range. Advanced Ballistic's not done for Battle B. Quanta's actually holding pretty well right here. But Battle B did get a CC. Battle B just has so many CCs. This is kind of a crazy game, though it was to a low... Uh, start.
You could ask John Mac for them. I don't really know how to send them. Sure thing, status. Usually, I you send them in Discord. Uh, my ID is posted on the challenge, but sure, I could ask John Mac. Well, thank you for playing. For sure. By the way. Oh my god, the investment of Liberators might not be paying off. There's a lot of Vikings still for Quanta. Though he is tied up into Thor's more. What's he going into now? He's going back into Vikings. All right. Anyway. We'll see what's going on here. Vikings and Liberators coming through and... Ah! This is uh, definitely a dead planetary for Battle B. I don't think it matters so much, even if it is gold. It does cost them a lot of money losing a planetary. Want this going to be pushing out. Battle B is actually lower on supply. Uh, drops are scouted everywhere. Actually, there's just a few missile turrets. Uh, Battle B could get a drop. But look at this power of this mech army. Just pulverizing over the side. Battle B is losing a lot here. <clears throat> and being that he's on bio production and mass libs. I don't know how he holds this, to be honest. He's got a lot of Vikings. He's going to try to save the planetary. I don't think it's going to do too much. He doesn't have high sec auto track. And now he knows he needs to get it. This is going actually pretty efficient for Quanta. Pretty cheeky build. Advanced Ballistics is going to help the fight. The Liberators now could be a bit of an issue. He is going into plus three ship weapons and going into vehicle plating. So I guess that will help a bit. Now, I'm not sure if the Vikings land after, or if you can get them. Could be all right. Tanks in. Uh, just some Hellbats and tanks getting targeted. Liberator's getting shrecked. This is a frustrating style to play against for Battle B. You can tell he's expecting some kind of bio, but, man, as good as he was doing, this gets harder and harder to crack. Quanta on maxed. Uh, upgrades minus ship weapons. Battle B has a lead there, but I don't think Liberators are the answer against all these Thors. However, he's trying to form a good position here. Vikings taking a little better fight, but there's not enough for Battle B. He's lost so many to... Yeah, he's lost so many to the Thors, I think, earlier. Liberators forced to unsiege and fight the Vikings, getting some good splash damage, but are going to have to retreat. Basically, all Liberators to fight this? It's Mass Liberator versus Thor. With some bio, which Marines don't do so well. The Marauders can help out. But the Medivacs are disjointed from the bio. Vikings coming in more for Quanta means this is a tough as hell hold for Battle B. And yet another mech game from Quanta. G is called. Quant that takes game number one. And a GG. We are hopping around to all sorts of stuff. Curious to see the bracket. Let's see now what's going on. If any updates or report, people are zipping through it. Geralt has advanced. Nicaract and Janio going on as well. Jean Mac and Han Mono going on. Max Pax is 2 0 to cost it toss. Uh, Jumi versus Trifax going on. And uh, Mixu. Oh, Trigger 2 0 Mixu. Damn. Trigger did 2-0 mix you. So winner of this goes on the fight, Mr. Trigger. How you doing, Green Ultralisk? Oh, my bat. It's my hell bat. It's the lion from hell. The hellion. The hell lion. True green. They're the hell lions. Or as Bang calls them, the heck bats. Thought I saw Bang here earlier. Maybe I'm mistaken. 
but we'll see what's going on. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Neo Humanity. Give it up for our orange Terran player. It is Quanta. He is up a point from Team NV. And his opponent in the upper left representing Berserker Esports. Give it up for Battle Booty in the red. And we'll see what happens this game. Corey, Trevor, Smokes, let's go. Guys, bear with me. We're going to start this up. Just going to follow what's going on. I have a feeling this could be another mech game from Quanta. But we'll see. Mr. Gene, Tim Dark, Omega, how you guys doing? All right. All right, all right. We will see what's happening. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I have a feeling we're going to set this event up again because there's lots of games. It's a shame we didn't have everybody play. And I'm going to do my best to cover. I'm going to probably do a recast of this. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. He's going to be a barracks factory opener. And we will see what happens here. Again, very stacked tournament. So I honestly think we're going to do it. Triggers falling off, Nate Diggity. Uh oh. All right, guys. Now, well, just a little bit of Reaper aggression. Is Quanta going to play mech again? He's played mech in previous games. Maybe Battle B is going to notice it. I think outside of out expanding, he needs to get damage done earlier. So he may change up his strats. I think that was just a weird style for him to play against. <laughs> Heck bad, Gene Sim. True. All right. We are moving on in. All right, so a couple little skirmishes. Nothing's traded out. Reapers make their way back. It is going to be Reaper and Hell Eater and Opener. Uh, Starport finishing up for Quanta. I'm assuming he's going to go Battle Mech again, but we'll see. Well, full Mech, actually. It is TBT. So, let's see if we see something more aggressive from Battle Booty this game. All righty. Alrighty, we do have a little drop ski coming from Battle B, and it is going to be a Cyclone and two Marines. Battle B bringing out some different strats. Usually we see this on the Korean servers more, so it's going to do two purposes. It's going to do a few purposes. It's going to disjoint Quanta. Does he get the Supply Depot? He's got to be careful, though. There's more Marines. Is he going to save this? That's the question. The Cyclone gets a decent lock on, but Battle B saves it. Just trading out a Marine for Supply Depot would say it's worth it. But in the meantime, a Reaper gets some damage over here. Does get two kills. So let's take a look at the trades. Not going so good for Battle B. Lost two SCVs, a Hellion, and three Marines. All right, Cyclone and Marines coming in. All 
And man, I could use a refresher on the old coffee here, guys. Can't believe I missed Geralt and Poppy. I am definitely setting this up as a recast again. So guys, if you missed this, and we're missing a lot of games because there's so many different things to start, I'm going to set up another Team Liquid event for this so we can plan it out with replays uh, from what's not covered because we had a good amount of people. All 36 people covered. You know damn well I would do it. I'd probably host it for some other casters as well. And this time, Quanta is opening with a lot of Marines. He's going for 3cc, but he's not committed to stem or anything just yet. I think Quanta is changing it up. He's going into, into a bio play. Oh, but Battle B kind of debates him. He notices what's up. Tank on the high ground goes down. Very offensive position from Quanta. However, Bat Battle B's tech's kind of hitting a little back. He's a little expecting this. It looks like Interference Matrix is going to help him out, though. The two tanks are denied. Very sick play. It's all getting cleaned up. Uh, the tanks starting to get chiseled at, but they are not going to go down. Battle B with this nice strategic decision to jump down after. Auto turret going to clean up the rest of the Marines. Medivac saved with the pushes held and Battle B in a good spot. However, both players are on a 3cc build. And, uh, well, Battle B is going to be able to reestablish this. Quanta is going back. Trades definitely way better for Battle B right now. He is another beast of a player, to be honest. So, very, very good stuff. All righty. We will see what happens from here. We do have uh, infantry weapons plus one and stem on the way for battle booty. However, it is going to be, uh, again, mech. So lots of tank production. Uh, I don't think it's so much Hellions this time. Well, maybe it's going to be again. But lots of tanks coming out for Quanta. Mr. Team NV here. Battle B's going to have to try to find some value. It's going to be rough against so many tanks. Well, lots of Vikings getting some damage in. Interference Matrix on one of the Vikings, funnily enough. Because if he wins the air battle earlier, before there's a lot of tanks, he can do some damage. I wouldn't hate Battle B. He needs to get a uh, read on this, though. That's the problem, more so. Good damage from the tanks, though. He is going to kill a lot of workers, forcing a pull. Workers targeted means the tanks that are on siege are going to be able to hop on top of this. Vikings getting landed. Oh, Battle B losing a tank to some of the SCVs. Uh, he's going to be forced to unseed, but the rest are going to be cleaned up. That's a lot of losses for Quanta. As we see here, 19 workers have fallen. Battle will be only losing those first two. This game, he's playing much stronger. He's cleaned up a lot of the tanks. Triple factory tank production or not with some... Yeah, aliens. I don't think that's going to matter. I truthfully don't think that's going to matter. Battle will be going for a fourth behind it. He's massively leading the army supply. He's going to just come right in here he has stem no combat shields yet oh he's got he is gonna lose one of the tanks it looks like or is he yeah one does get cleaned up however what a devastating blow medevac coming into the main base there's not a lot of money for production scans going down but guess what this marine drop will find some damage we do get a stem he's at least forcing more and much needed lost mining time for Quanta, and this one's going a lot quicker. Battle B knows what he has to do. He knows he was up against Mech in some way, some form. A little bit of a debate from Quanta, and a failed push on the third. Third base did survive for him, but GG is called, and Battle B is gonna take game number two.
Trigger's a good guy. Take it easy. And, and yeah, Trigger, dude, Trigger's won many of my tournaments. Trigger's actually played some of my tournaments and beaten Max Packs. Let's take a look here on the bracket in the past. Trigger's actually still doing fine. Uh, Nicaract and Geralt going on on the other side of this, too. I guess we're going on to game three. I'm missing out on some bangers. Geralt's going to be like, wow, Dave, I'm playing and you're not casting. And guys, give me just a minute. All right, so here we go. <laughs> We're going on to game number three. And guys, you want to help Dave out too or you just want some of my shitty artwork? I do have merch, exclamation mark merch. That's right. Check it out. Christiana was flaming me on stream earlier, by the way, guys. He was saying, Dave, you always do some weird shit. And uh, I want, he was describing some of my builds. He's like, are you just doing weird shit? He goes, I'm actually learning some things from watching your stream sometimes. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Gressvan. In the orange, give it up for our mech player from Team NV. It is Quanta. And his opponent in the upper left. In the red. Representing Berserker Esports. It is Battle B. Wait, is he still on Berserker? Farrell's going to kill me if he's not. He used to be on Berserker if not. Because we are on NA. He may still have the clan tags. He is a EU player, of course. So, And we'll see what happens. Uh, and again, we did start out a little later. We had some change of plans in the fly. It does happen. Uh, but f because of Kano is casting too in French, by the way. A4NOYA. She's uh, put up money for tournaments before and stuff. But I said she could hop on this too and cover some things. All right. Looking to be a double gas uh, standard TBT opener from Battle B and from Quanta, but I'm pretty sure he's going to play mech still. If he pulls out the bio in this game, that's going to be certainly a change of plans. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for playing. If you're players, if you've been eliminated and you're watching, I do appreciate you and I do want to cover your games too, is why. I'm going to ask for the replays. It's also for my subscribers. My Patreons, there's only a few, but we, the people that donate, the people that want tournaments. And honestly, you know what? If you guys don't feel like you're pro players, you could you could learn some things from your opponent's replays too. Because we do like spicy StarCraft games. And uh, fun fact, all right, as we get into this, it's looking pretty standard. Reaper pushing out from Quanta. Quanta looks like he's winning the fight, but the second Reaper comes out, it is not going to be able to save the SEV. That is going to delay Battle B for a bit, and he is going to have to wait. He does have two Reapers here. Quanta immediate. What the heck is this? A Supply Depot right here. Quanta just going to retreat. He, know, he knows he did get a little bit of a lead uh, and saved the Reaper, so nothing really fell. Other than the one SCV for Battle B, which is annoying, but certainly far from game ending damage, of course. Interestingly enough, we see no 
proxy two racks reaper in either game usually we see it uh, happen in at least one tvt regardless of region so nothing too cheeky just yet i mean honestly especially with uh cross region plays we see some weird stuff hell yeah fair i'm glad to hear it and guys, make sure you check out my buddy Farrell as well. Farrell is the owner of Berserker Esports. Feels like he's like a brother. Uh, he does cast a lot. He and uh, Gamer Richie too lately uh, for Berserker Esports. Great team as well. Obviously, I'm from Storm Gaming, but uh, always a pleasure to have him and chat. A great guy. Yeah, guys, bet those channel points because when we have regular streams, we have goofy shit in my channel points, including TTS. And a lot of this is going to be cleaned up. Oh, my good lord. Well, these Reapers are actually getting good work done. So I think we're probably going to see more of the same from Quanta. But he was going out with a very aggressive opener with the Reapers. However, they don't always hold up. Raven is out and does not have the energy for... Oh, you know, it does have an energy for an auto turret. What the heck? I think it's... So it is still 50 energy for the auto turret. Now what? Did they change that again? All right. Hmm. Or did it just... Yeah, this is weird. I've been seeing that in customs. For some reason, I think we're still seeing some... Glitches. Old man Dave needs to fine tune this. Four Jimmy, it's to you. Oh wow, you two won four uh, Trifax. I can certainly edit the bracket. Four Jumic is still in it. Damn, he beat Trifax. Thank you for playing Trifax too. Hopefully Trifax isn't upset. You guys know how it be in the the tournament. I will certainly edit the score right now. Four Jumi. And Trifax did get a map off you. Very well done. Good to see my boy Ford Jumicus in here. Still in the tournament. I have done it. So it has been updated. All right, guys. I am keeping track of more again than just casting the tournament, as you see. How you doing, Nolio? You as well. Have a fantastic day. All right. We'll see what's happening here. Do have some more racks falling up. Third CC on the way. And yeah. Okie dokie. Starport going down. I do have two more racks coming in. Uh, tech lab as well. We'll see what happens. All right. And, well, a lot of this is being cleaned up. And Cyclone chiseling at the Vikings. A couple Ravens out, Marines. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're advancing pretty quickly into the tournament, by the way. Looks like a lot of people are already into the round eight playing their games. Everybody that makes it to the round of the eight is... Uh, And guys, obviously, if you see the players that come in here, if you don't know them, definitely follow them. Ford Yumi always does some awesome streams. Go a little in German more sometimes. We got all sorts of buddies all from all over the world here. And even if these guys don't stream as much in some cases, they definitely have cheeky streams out. So, yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Vikings taking some work done. Oh, thanks. Getting some good pressure on. But can battle be break the siege? Auto turrets attempted to be landed. One does land. Doesn't quite take out the tank. However, the unseached tank would be good. Boys are pulled. I don't think it matters. However, battle B is going to have to back off a little bit. He is still leading the army supply. Both players on three bases. However, Quant is down to 23 workers. 
And this was a very aggressive assault from Battle B. This is pretty good. Hey, thank you, Proton Election Electron. Follow Proton Electron and everybody else. Use those Matcherino codes, folks. It adds 25 cents to the prize pool. It will be a $200. Tournament, regardless, it may go to more. Uh, whatever you see in the kill, just ignore it for right now. Ooh, Viking War going a little bit in favor of Quanta. But I don't think Battle B is over this just yet. He has stem. He's going to stem in to the natural. Is he going to deny the third? He is going to deny the third and get some worker kills over here. Even less workers for Kawanta, who just got up to 35. Well, or actually 50-something. I'm reading the wrong supplies here right now. Uh, but look at this. Battle be at a 50. Supply lead to 35 over Kawanta. That said, this is uh, looking a little rough. Battle B's retreating. Kawanta's kind of stabilizing, but... Actually, he's caught up on workers. He's at his fourth base. Battle B's just starting his. Quanta is going for a fourth orbital because he knew he got behind. Let's take a look at how many workers fell. 16 workers. Uh, trades, certainly in favor of Battle B. Let's take a look at the total upgrades. Obviously, Quanta's going into mech. Battle B's trying to get plus one ship weapons, but isn't keeping up with those infantry upgrades with it. All right. Shit, the scans are going to just totally locate Battle Beast's position. The fourth orbital coming in clutch for Quanta, who's still behind, but still, he's going in mech. That's a lot of Vikings and tanks. I don't know how well the bio is going to do this, against this. Uh, except for the fact that it's lower numbers. This sensor tower, this like offensive sensor tower, sending this up for the fourth. It being an orbital is going to be a bit of a problem. I like how Quant is cheekily kind of hiding it over. Is he going to take this location? Uh, he is. Battle B kind of posturing out here. He's forcing a lot of scans out. So that's it. That's less mules. Battle B up to 81 workers, which can be a problem in TVT. Uh, if you can't get the value you need in. And honestly, he could get some drops. There are a couple of... Ma oh, wow, that's a lot of missile turrets, actually. You really can't find any drops. And I really like the scene. Battle B just going to a switch into factories of his own. He's not going to do that. He's going to... Eh, I don't know if he's going to win this Viking War. We'll see. Nice target firing. He is starting to do so. I think there's more... Vi oh, no, he's extending into the missile turrets. Oh, a little sloppy from Battle B, but he cleans up most of the Vikings... The tanks and the bio taking a bit of a hit for him. He's taking a fifth and sixth base, but we saw this in game one. Battle be going into 2-2 two -two, uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah, his eBay's are in the nat. Fusion core being researched. Is he going to go into battle cruisers? No, he's not. He's going for advanced ballistics again. It sounds crazy, but if he went into B uh, BCs, there's a lot of Vikings, but just like one BC per mass Viking uh, before Thors come out, that could be really big. It sounds crazy, uh, but it's kind of like an unsuspecting plot twist, but Thors are going to be here, and with the upgrades, it's going to be a problem. It's with the bio upgrades being lowered, too, it's kind of rough. Uh, you know, upgraded Marines and Marauders do pretty good against tanks if you get good hits, but then, obviously, when you get to too many, it's a little rough. Liberator getting some work done. Is going to clean up a tank, maybe two. Is going to damage one. Bio drop coming in, force and friendly fire. Great save from Battle B. He saves the medevac in a few units. I think he did lose a Marauder, but cleans up a bunch of the tanks. But now that we're shifting into Thors, we're going to see a little bit of the same the Liberators. I don't know how much I like this mass Liberator play. Unless he, yeah, if he kills all the Vikings and gets in before there's too many Thors, it can be all right. 
He is denying mining on that fourth base, fifth base finishing up here, however, from Quanta. Crazy stuff. Uh, Battle B does have to break the tank line still, though. And if he's investing this much into it. Ah. All right. Looking pretty crazy. Battle B looks like he might be doing it here. Army supply in favor of Battle B, even with the massive amount of workers. Quanta is getting a lot more too, but that means less mech army. It takes longer for these Thors and such to come out, but he is going into Mass Vikings. Liberator's actually doing pretty good here. Battle B's found some good positioning on this map. But he has to be careful. Oh, tanks actually getting some good vision here. Thor's actually getting injured. They're going to move, move into the Liberators. The Liberators doing God's work with the upgrades. Oh, man. Vikings leading the sky battle. The bio comes in and entrenches the third. The third base is going down to battle. He takes it in a 2-1. Oh, man. All right, let me take a look at what's going on because I'm sure players are playing their stuff. All right, Geralt 2 0 Nicarak. Damn. Uh, Han Mono and Max Pax going on. Interesting. Han Mono got him. Poor Jumi and Christian are going on. And Trigger is waiting. Uh, so it's going to be Trigger versus Battle Bee. Battle B versus Trigger. I should be on a tournament scene, like I said. <clears throat> Normally, I have the players showing up and all that, but you know what? We're just going raw dog into this. So the production's a little scuffed, as it should be here. It is even on that, but... Figured we're just ripping through them. This tournament's flying. We're into the round of eight on all sides. And actually, Geralt is our first player making it to the semifinals. Ooh, it's going to be Geralt versus Max Pax over there. So Geralt's got the toughest side to go, I feel like. It's Geralt versus Max Pax. Christianer versus Forjumi is ongoing. I would like to catch that. But we have Trigger versus Battle Booty. Ah, how you doing? Battle B for Prez. <laughs> Joe Blesso. I really wanted to catch Forjumi versus uh, versus Christianer. I wanted to catch Geralt's side. So again, this is why we're doing this stuff. Wherever people get, there's tons of outcomes. Battle B and Trigger is going to be a spicy one. I like every one of these. Nicarac got two. Oh damn, Geralt's on fire. That could go back or forth because Nicarac is a very strong Terran player.
Uh, we did have Greffin here earlier, too. Uh, Aquaron had to walk over, unfortunately. A lot of people couldn't show up. I didn't realize there was a best of seven going on with uh, he and Forjumi earlier. <laughs> I would have let him wait. Aquaron could have played to another great player. Uh, I hope Trigger is waiting. Unless I get Forjumi and Christiana in between here. Max path. Oops. All right, guys, moving on in. It is Trigger versus Battle Booty. Anyway, spawning in the upper right of Altitude, representing Bassless Gaming. New and upcoming and sick team, the Goaded team with Cyril Roddy Trigger. And I should say Balemo, but we have Trigger right here in the blue. And his opponent in the bottom left representing Berserker Esports, bringing us a crazy and scary series uh, previously. Representing Berserker Esports, it is Battle Bee in the red. Very good stuff. All right. Uh, trigger a little indecisive. Looks like he is going for a gate scout, probably. Just a little bit of something happening there. My Canadian buddy, Mr. Yuna. All right, Battle B. So far, opening pretty standard. Trigger going out for the scout, it looks like. But our boy Trigger can do some cheeky stuff sometimes. So I'm curious to see it. Curious to see what happens here. And again, everybody at this point has at least made it to the round of eight. Geralt, our first semifinalist. Max Pax posted a lot. I should have went on that side, too, because it's Max Pax versus Geralt, and I didn't cover that. That's the first semifinal side. I'm an idiot. Geralt's not getting any love. Max Pax is not getting any love. My team's not getting any love. But this is going to be a banger of a series. I, I have a feeling this one's going to be spicy shit. We'll see. But I, f I hope my man Geralt doesn't worry. He's, as you guys may know, if it's followed my stream for a bit, I'm a bit of a Geralt fanboy here. When nobody else is cheering for Geralt, everybody's cheering for Geralt usually. It's Dave Testa. All right, it's going to be just a standard 1-1-1 opener from Battle Beak. He could do three racks factory after he. All right. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Shit, I do apologize, guys, though. We could have caught the semifinal side, usually the more important thing in the live event. And I may actually hop to it if we get a chance between the two after. So it's going to be a little scuffed. I may bounce around. Because I'm the, like, Kano's casting, too, but... In French. 
But man. Had I thought ahead, I would have tried to get a hold of Chicken Man earlier. I just realized last night, but he's probably busy today anyway. Draw with the hallucinated Phoenix. I like the fast sentry. He's going for a couple sentries. Uh, very cool stuff. Making use of the quicker sentry build time, the quicker sentry speed as well. We've been seeing this a little more from some players, and it's pretty good against stuff like Hellions. Oh, does he get the ramp? He does. Force field. It's not a full close, but he kills it with two sentries and a stalker. Very cool play from Trigger going right into Robo with a second gate. And he is the third. Wow, that's a fast. I forgot to mention Trigger going for a super fast third. This is a sick build. So Trigger went for an insanely fast third base. Uh, and using scouting information with the sentry going into another sentry. A third sentry. What the deuce? Are we looking at uh, Heart of the Swarm right here, guys? This is definitely a crazy build from our Protoss player. It is going to be Cloak Banshees, but the fact that there is a Robo and a Twilight coming out. Is Trigger going to go into Blink? Probably. He's dropping two more gates, but he might go into Charge to change it up. He has lots of scouting information. If he's, uh, he's going to get a few more Stalkers, it's probably going to be Blink. But in this case, I wouldn't hate to see Charge. Still, Sentry, good unit too. Being that it's a Cloak Banshee build, at least... Oh, he is going into charge. He cancels Blink. Trigger with those hallucinations and scouts is going to get a good read of this. Observer's out. He has some stalkers. Trigger is going to be prepared for a push. Battle be taking a cheeky third base at the 6 o'clock position. Changing it up. We see that sometimes uh, on maps like this. Yeah, but it's enough to throw a Protoss off at times. He's going to think there's no third. It's a two base all in, unless he gets some information over there. Banshee getting some work done. Cloak is available. Where is the Observer? Wait, is Cloak available? Yes, it is, but the Banshee goes off. He feels it's deflected. The Observ There's two Observers out. What am I saying? One over here. Uh, the other is going to chase this out. Well, hallucination looking for the Banshee. Second Banshee coming in. Trigger's going to stay. Ooh, he's actually moving away a little bit. It's going to be a charge lot of mortal push. We got photon cannons. Trigger has a fantastic read. The hallucinations were coming in clutch. These observers coming in clutch. Trigger's just keeping eyes everywhere. He's going to see the push with his observer. Oh, man. Where are the Banshees? Oh, uh, yeah, they're still tucked away over here. I just missed them for some reason. But anyway, third base is scouted even. Trigger is just keeping eyes on everything. So Battlebee's now forced to defend a third, delaying the push. Let's take a look in production. Robo Bay follow up with the second robotics facility. I like that Trigger actually has a couple spread out. So one in the third. I usually don't like the third base ones. However, he's out of position for this. He's going to take a quick fourth when he already had a quick third and double gas. The photon cannon is going to help. The trigger doesn't have any units right here. He's going to try to get in position. He's going into blink just now as a follow-up. It is annoying to deal with the banshees without blink, but you know what? Trigger's going to try to go for a charge lot run by into the third, but he sees what's here. I don't know why he's going to do that when there's tanks. Oh, he's going to pick off a couple mules. Maybe get some friendly fire on the SCVs and try to kill a few units. A couple SCVs go down, but a lot of them are injured, so he can come back for a follow-up after. I think that's the play. Banshee's kind of hiding out here, gaining some energy back. Again, Trigger is in defensive position. Take it a fourth bit. He's going to have a massive economy. This is super early. I mean, it is a fast 3cc build, but we, I don't think we're going to see a fourth for a little bit from our Terran player. Stem Combat Shields in 1-1. One, one. It's a double eBay build from Battle Beer coming with... Widow Mines and Men of Axe. Wow, look at this. Fourth base finishing up here shortly for Trigger. Very cool stuff. Only a single Stalker to hold. No, oh, there's a shield battery back here. He could retreat with the damage Stalker if he wants to and needs to. It is going to deflect the Banshees. Four workers fall. Nice pick for Battle B. Trigger not on the highest worker count, though, considering the bases, but it doesn't matter. Extended Thermal Ants coming in. More Colossi coming. Supply block for a moment, but their pylons are finishing up. Meanwhile, our Terran player, Mr. Battle B, is pushing up on the right flank. With that said, there's no more upgrades because we have an armory coming. We have Widow Mines with this army. Trigger does have the tools, though. He is a pretty robo-heavy army. Army supply in favor of Battle B, though. Trigger does have a shield battery here. He is warping in units. Let's see how many gateways he has. He has eight warp gates. Very good stuff for Trigger. And Extended Thermal Lance isn't quite done. Force Field going to help. Uh, and that said, Blink's just now finishing up. 
Oh, Battle be going for a cheeky draw. Is he just going to pull units in? No, I think he's going for a multi prong. Uh, Guardian Shield certainly going to help. Nice blink forward from Trigger. He's target firing the Marauders. Oh my god, Trigger holds his push. Battle be going to go try to find some counter damage over here. There's a Photon Cannon, an awkward battery. And uh, he is going into Disruptor pro uh, production with plus two ground weapons. I wouldn't hate to see another Forge when he gets a chance. He has economy. Oh my god, Trigger scouting so good. Just the token Zealot taking the Zealot like a Watchtower. Scouts the double drop. But there's another drop in the main. Battle be so good at this multi prong. Uh, his multi prong game is pretty good. He's going to warp in a couple of Zealots. But he's going to lose some probes over here, looks like for sure. Trigger is going to come back over here. He knows there's a push on the other side. Just some stalkers going to hold this, this uh, shield battery. Going to come in clutch. But 14 workers falling for Trigger is not the greatest. Still, he's going for a fifth base. What a madman. It's going to be scouted by Battle B. Is he going to drop? No. Oh, uh, well, maybe he is now. Problem is there's some Colossi over here. There's only one Marauder, I believe. Maybe it's a Widow Mine. Nope, two Marauders and one of the Medivacs. That's it. Crazy game. Absolutely crazy game. How are you doing, Nizaro Bari? I mean, Reza. All right, let's see here. Well, Marauders and Marines getting cleaned up right here. We'll see what happens. Big push coming on out. And, uh, man. Well, Zelly boy's getting cleaned up here. Trigger going in for a little push as well. Going to scout some of this army. Going to pick off a few units. It looks like just Marines. None of the uh, Marauders or tankier units at the moment, but we'll see what happens. Big push coming into the side uh, onto this third base, but it's just kind of a contain. Battle B has a bigger army, but Trigger's army's getting pretty massive. Does he have any war prisms? Uh, sorry, war prisms. He does not. Uh, I wouldn't hate Trigger to eke out a Warp Prism, but he's d getting that Disruptor production up, which is nice. The Banshee's still alive. Fifth base up for Trigger is kind of crazy. Uh, he is two bases ahead of our Terran player. Man, this is a cool pl uh, play from Trigger. He's playing like... It's like Terran Gateway, man, but with no Stargate, and I kind of like it. There's a lot of Vikings out, but at some point, there's not that many Colossi. The Colossi kind of trade out for Disruptors same time he can always rebuild them after he cleans up all the vikings banshees coming into the push there is an observer disrupt this is scouted by all the oh, bio nice splits from battle b trigger looks like his base is in jeopardy and it's certainly gonna fall the shield battery is depowered all right triggers workers gonna long uh, go back to long distance mining in the fight which actually could help with target firing even if he loses them he uses them to tank back some of the army and he's trying to hold on here. Trigger's losing a lot of his army. Look at Terran. Imagine Terran, guys. This is an imagine Terran moment. Still kind of a hold for Trigger. And he was a base ahead. So he's going to rebuild it right behind it. Trigger with no observer with this army. Uh-oh, he doesn't want to trade out these units. His army supply is already lower. He's trying to get into more Colossi. Going into the Dark Shrine. And he is getting into um, ground armor plus two. So he's going to do that because it's going to get him uh, upgrades quicker than going for plus three ground armor. That said, Battle Bees establishing that fourth base. Just now, he's flying it over. What would be his triangle third? Trigger is going to cancel that. Uh, he's going to go for a charge lot run by over. He may be able to get some good units, uh, some good pickoffs. Trigger is remassing his army. Going into double Colossi production again. A lot of the Vikings have been cleaned up. There's still some there. And Banshees are still going to be a bit of a problem. Five workers falling for Battle B. Trigger at 69 workers. That is nice. Oh, Purification Nova. Does not land. And uh, five workers was all that fell. I think maybe some mules. Let's take a look here. I won't show that, but yeah, Trigger is... Taking more devastating hits, but he's trading out. So he's just rebuilding bases. He's trying to double expand behind this because he knows he needs to be a base ahead. And he risks losing something else. Battle be coming with a big push over here. Does Trigger have... Yeah, he does have some stuff defending, but the Disruptor's over here. Army coming to the other flank. That's a lot of Zealots and Stalkers coming in over here as well. The main fight happening toward Battle Beast third base. 
Zealot's actually taking a good fight. Stalker's gonna help clean this up as well. Trigger's gonna go retreat, maybe pick off some reinforcements. Oh my god, that was a good Nova. Catches a couple Marauders. And Marines, I, I believe. Ooh, nice blinks. They're gonna pick off a medevac. Every medevac he gets to is actually huge. This is a point of 34. The trigger's gonna try to jump on here. We don't have invisible men. He does have some disruptors behind us. Does he get, oh, massive Nova. And another Nova is gonna zone back the army. Another Nova, rather. Uh, Colossi kind of taking a beating from the Vikings. There are a lot of stalkers here, but the EMP is going to help out our Terran player a bit. Invisible man coming into the... Oh, this is big. So this is going to pick battle, be a part a bit. He doesn't have many units. Multiple DTs. Are we seeing max packs or trigger here? Micro on those DTs like a madman. He's forcing lost mining time. He's in two locations. The second one falls. He's actually picking off reinforcements at least. Trigger now leading an army well they're pretty close at army supply but he's rebuilt those bases this is a nuts game i am sad we're missing the semi-finals but you know what this is a banger series my god medevacs are completely out of energy gg is called the trigger takes game number one but very well played by battle b this is insane Very sick plays from both of them. Gotta love it. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please smash that follow button. Do appreciate it. All right, we're going into it. Glad you're enjoying Dark Omega. But yeah, we don't see any follows here. If you like, want to support the channel, got an extra Prime stuff around, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. We are going on. I should hit up Florencio on this too. Fuck. We were running a little behind here. All right. Anyway. Here we go. Representing Basilisk Gaming, a team sponsored by Basilisk Research Group. Give it up for our blue Canadian Protoss player. It is Mr. Trigger. And his opponent in the bottom right. Can he come back? He's an absolutely devastating Terran player. Give it up for Berserker Esports. Battle B in the red. On Dragon Scales. I feel like Trogdor the Burninator when I look at this map now. Or, you know, if you're watching a Dave Ladder stream, you're thinking, uh, you're thinking of Skyrim music or Oblivion music. Something from the Elder Scrolls. Eh, so far, just a single gas trigger going out ah. for a gateway scout again. Ah. The prediction is up. That was not a command. All right, does that mean something happened and I missed it? Can't believe we're missing a semifinals though. Oh, yeah, Probius getting some work done. Barracks on the way and we'll see what happens. All right, he's going to be a low-ground CC. Probe's still out being annoying, and he's actually done some good damage, but he's probably going to want to retreat. This is going to be a Marine opener from Battle B, so we'll see what the game is this time. Trigger did go core before Nexus. Very standard opener from our Protoss player as well. Uh, ooh, no reactor. He's going straight into factory. Okay, now he's getting that reactor. Curious to see how Trigger opens. That was a really sick build in game number one from Trigger. That was like really safe and re at the same time really greedy play. 
Thanks for following, Reza. Haha, <laughs> you had follow followed. How are you doing, Airwinter? All right. We will see what happens. All right, factory going over. We'll see from here. Uh, trigger not being extra greedy just yet. Actually, is he? What the deuce? Is he going for third base? Is he going for a proxy? Or is he just going for scouting? Guys, we're going to see a proxy here. LeBlanc see it going on. Trigger changing it up a bit. Just with two gates so far. Gonna have a couple of Hellions coming back. Stalker on the high ground. Sentry is on its way as Warp Gate is approaching completion. This time it is more of a blank build. Battle Booty going into a Widow Mind Drop. Trigger does have the tools to defend, but can he scout it? Ooh, Trigger's starting to Stalker again. But Warp Gate's good. Yeah, no, it's a good idea to do that. Ooh, five workers fallen. It's not good for Trigger. He just has a Stalker and a Sentry. The sentry gets a force field. Is going to clean that up, though. But six workers going down for a very two-base committed build. So, I mean, two-base all in. It's going to be a rough medevac with three Widow Mines. It is going to be the play into a 3-1-1 for Battle Booty. All right, medevac coming out. It's a four Widow Mine drop. rut -row raggy There's no Robo. But there is no Armory. So... With some good micro trigger, we'll be fine. Where this medevac's gonna cheekily come in here. No third base for trigger. He's going for four gate blink. Uh, blink is gonna be finishing up here shortly, but guess what? Not in time. Medevac certainly gonna get it in his trigger. Paying attention. He's going to push out, and he's nothing back home to defend trigger. Trying to pull a little later, but he does get some decent splits. Yeah, that's actually okay. He loses four workers for four mines. That's about as good as he can do. Uh, these are on cooldown. He's going to warp in a couple stalkers. Trigger does have some sentries out for hallucinations. The scout. We don't have a robotics facility coming. Raven is coming out, and a lot of units are over here, but Trigger can't jump up just yet. No tank. Oh, he has one tank. Never mind. Only a singular tank. Trigger could actually come in here. We do have a hallucinated Phoenix coming in. Trigger does have a decent amount of stalkers. A few just to defend back at home. He is two base all in in this game. Or pretty much all in. He doesn't have to be. If we plays it like max packs, but he's got a damn lot of stalkers that take siege down the low ground. Trigger's gonna deny stem and maybe combat shields, which could be huge. But realistically, he has enough stalkers to clean up these marines, and he can actually blink on the tank after Raven's auto turrets even cleaned up. Trigger doesn't have to be this cautious. I don't feel like he's gonna pick off a lot of SCVs. Is Trigger hey, just gonna do this? Who wants to have some fun? Juggernaut Jason, thank you for the big raid. My man, Mr. Jason, I would have loved to see you play today. Uh, damn. I was really hoping for my man Jason. He's been a little cracked lately. I don't know if you guys have been watching him, but he's been playing in ESLs. He's been doing some pretty good results. And uh, even his ladder games have been quite good lately. Thank you so much, Jason. And if you guys are not following Juggernaut Jason, you totally should. He is a great, great Terran content creator. And Trigger does it in a 2-0. He's advancing to the semifinals. That'll be played pretty well, but that was that was sick. Sick games. GG's. Very cool stuff, and thank you again, Juggernaut Jason. All right, guys. We are moving right along. So we have a trigger to... Oh, Christiana and Four Jumi was going on. I, I didn't catch that. It's still going on. Draw and Max Pack still going on? Let me take a look. Is Geralt streaming? I want to see what's going on in here. Uh, guys, also, if you want to help out the tournament, please use those Macherino codes. Exclamation mark Macherino. We have how many left? Let's take a look. 
We are into the semifinals mostly. Uh, this is a $200 tournament. Ignores what it says in the prize pool, but let's make it a little more. Let's make the pot a little sweeter. And uh, this is the Dave Test to open number five. Guys, this could be one of the last tournaments before uh, IEM Cata beats. So it is going to be... Shit. I'm going to go to EU and see what's going on. Ah, uh, my game's crashing. Hello? Uh, I think I accidentally... Huh. Bear with me. No big deal. It is not. We go to Europe and see what's ah. happening. Predictions up. Oh my god. I I love the uh I think for predictions I'm gonna get rid of the sounds. I forgot I had that. Alright, let's see here. Is for Juni streaming? Is Geralt streaming? Everybody's in try-hard mode tonight. Giddy up. And thank you for the follow. Sir Lynx. Sick series, though. We've had some good, uh, interesting TVTs. Sick TVPs. I have not covered a... Oh, we did start with Neo Shaggy. So we did have a cheeky TVZ at the beginning of Quanta, uh, Quanta playing Battle Mech. He's been playing Mech all day. He is a bit of a Mech player. Reminds me a little bit of Gumiho of old. All right, let's see. We are now between series. Guys, hang on for a bit. I need to see what's happening in the tournament. Uh, just from covering things, it does take a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what's happening. I'm out there, Jerry, and I'm all Finesse, thank you for the hundred biddies. Let's go. Do appreciate it, my boy. Mr. Finesse. Let's see what's happening. Is Chris Yonner still streaming? He was streaming earlier. He is not at the moment. Let's see here. So we're just uh, on waiting. So what we have coming up here, we're waiting on the results of, oh, Christianer 2-1 for Jumi. Damn, so it's Christianer versus Traeger. Max Pax versus Geralt's been going on. They got some sweaty games. All right, so I'm going to go back to NA. Damn, Ford Jumi with a one point off the board. Thank you for playing Ford Jumi. Maples, you played today? So it is Trigger versus Christiana. Christiana versus Trigger.
I may be back a little to myself, Maples. All right, guys, here we go. Going on to one of the sides of the semifinals. I am so sad I miss Max Pax and Geralt. But this is going to be a banger, too. Let's be real. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Dragon Scales, our first PvP of the evening. Give it up for Basilisk Gaming's trigger in the blue. And his opponent in the upper left, representing Blazer. It is our red Polish Protoss player. Give it up for Christianer. He is setting up for a low ground pylon, so his trigger. Are they going for one gate expands? I have a feeling either of them will not. It's possible. They both like him. But these days, it's a little harder to defend. It's kind of fallen off the meta, but we see it from time to time. All right, all right, all right. Giddy hecking up. Uh, let's see here. Do we see another gas? Okay, Trigger is... Or, uh, Christiana is going double gas. Trigger is not. Just yet. Wait, what is going on? It's going for another pylon. The mind games have begun. Christian or does know how to uh, force little harass. Trigger didn't do any scouting, it looks like, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Let's take a look here. Yeah, he did no scouting. Trigger really wants that expansion. He's not going for the gas still. And I think his play might be, if he gets delayed, he's going to drop some gates. And yeah, Zealot's just going to go kill the pylon or try to... Trigger's going to try to deal with this probe. He's adapting. He has the second pylon. And Christianer's not fully gas-saturated yet anyway. Trigger's getting a couple more probes. And, well, unfortunately, the probe did finish up. Christianer taking a note from Geralt. Oh, man. This is some good stuff. And anybody that is new here again, hit that follow button. We're going to have a recast of this tournament. Christianer going for a cheeky proxy right in the front. Is this going to be a proxy robo? I think so. Thanks for the follow, A. Hey, David. Uh, again, a recast. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to cover some of the players I didn't get. Whole sides, Christianer, Ford Jumi. Han Mono, even if they just had a run, I might do a couple days to cover everything. And I'm also going to open it up to my buddies, Chicken Man. Uh, Flapjack was going to join me, but is not. We can have recast. We're going to have friendos on. And uh, to other community casters, if you will, in general. And so, that said, for subscribers and stuff too, the replays will be available. Uh, as I'm hoping to collect everybody's. Shield battery is going to block the way for Christianer to get in there with an adept. If he has it, and he does. It's pretty damaged. Trigger does have that nexus. Christianer is four gating, which is usually the play. Ooh, no. Uh, yeah, the Oracle's out, but there's no Void Ray on the way. It's a bit of a problem. Trigger kind of in an awkward spot to hit anything. Warp Gate is on the way. He is getting a robo... Oh, no, a forge behind... What? The forge. Jory LaForge being built over here, folks. But here are a bunch of stalkers. For Christiana, Trigger doesn't have a pylon. Oh, no. This, my friends, is why I absolutely mauled in PvP. A couple probes being pulled, trying to buy time. Actually, surprisingly, Trigger's bought a little time. There's no shield battery, though. Void Ray on the way, and that's just too many stalkers. That pylon's going down, and that warping's canceled. The Void Ray did just pop. Pylon is coming back out. Trigger needs to start a Void Ray ASAP. Is going to do so. Gets a Sentry. It really doesn't matter if this Cyber Core is powered or not. It's a lot of Stalkers in here. Trigger, trying to buy time, gets a Stalker. Every trade he gets is pretty good. Christy Otter is pretty committed here. He's not expanding behind this, which is not uncommon. He's got two stalkers trapped behind because he needed to warp them in for the Oracle. I uh, did not catch that. So let's see what happens from here. Pretty banger of a game. I still don't understand the forge from Trigger. 
I thought he may go robo kind of max pack style. G is called. Trigger holds. It takes game number one. And uh, we'll see what happens from here. Max packs and Geralt still ongoing. These games have been zipping through today. It's only been two hours of me covering. And we are flying right through this. We are flying right through this. And my game crashed. Bear with me. Now it actually did. Little bit of glitches today. That's okay. We're getting back into it. Um in a moment all right guys here we go Thank you for that, Sibba John. Yeah, you can join the Discord if you do want them eventually. It's going to take me a while to collect them, but I am going to be hitting players up. Or Zilly plays. Good run from a lot of players. A lot of people from all over in different regions. And we did have 36 people sign up, so even though we didn't get them all, still 26 people, or 25, I should say. There was a forfeit. But other than that, it's not too bad. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Neo Humanity, a map by Omni Skeptic representing Basilisk Gaming in the blue. It is our Canadian Mr. Trigger. And his opponent in the upper left, representing Blazer. Give it up for Christiana in the red. So damn. All right, this is going to be a low ground from Trigger again. Christiana looks like he might be set up for a double gate this time. Maybe more of a standard setup. And truth be told, uh, one thing I'll say, a player that always does double gates in a macro game, frequently does, rather. Geralt usually shows that you can do a two-gate expand against a one-gate expand and still end up fine. With just a little pressure. Christiana is going to go try to get the block again. Trigger looks like he is going to set up for reels with a one gate expand. Christiana setting it up. Oh, was he expecting a cannon rush? Neo Humanity, by the way, guys, is a map by design uh, that's intended to try to prevent some cannon rushing in the main base. Christiana getting some work done. He's going to re-heal uh, the probe. He's forcing out his zealot trigger, going for the same game. He's going to be a two-gate opener from Christiana, as he, as I said. The trigger is going to be a little annoyed with this pylon. Not going for the probe this time. Pylon is canceled at the last second. Trigger trying to get some work here. The Zelly boy and probe going in. Ah, he wants to kill the probe first. Not nope, he's going to chisel at this. It's going to be a Stargate in the main for Trigger. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Christiana getting those Stalkers out. I don't know if he's going to... I don't think he's going to proxy this game. He may. Christiana stealing the moves from Geralt. The three pylon cancel. That's the other thing you do against this. Kind of force it out. Is he going to get the cancel at the last second? He does. Probius, if he drops another one, I almost don't think that's worth it. It's like losing a full pylon. That kind of cancels out. Docker's going to be out here. The probe's still alive, though. Trigger is going to get his Nexus down into standard two-gate expand time, but he does have a Stargate, so it works out there. Uh, no, Chris Yotter keeping a lot of pressure on, just two-gate. Uh, the depth from Trigger is going to scout. There is no expand just yet. Chris Yotter is going to go for a third. Okay, so yeah. All in all, relatively standard opener. That probe's still alive. Stalker trying to take the fight. Shield battery not quite done. And there is going to be an Oracle out eventually. Not quite yet. Oh my god, Chris Yotter chasing this damn Stalker for dear life. 
in the shield battery's not there. Some boys are pulled off the main line. They were going to go down the resatch anyway. That stalker's taking a lot of hull damage. Shield battery's out. And an Oracle. Eh, now it's going to be a Phoenix follow-up. Question mark? From Trigger. Two shield batteries are going to be a little helpful. He's going to use the back shield battery to, hold, <laughs> to heal the forward one. A little bit of an awkward situation. Warp gate's on the way. Trigger didn't build another gate with this, though. I almost would have rather another gate when you know you're getting some pressure, but Trigger scouted the Oracle uh, scouted this with the Oracle that Christiana also is expanding the forward shield battery. He's taking a lot of hull damage. Warp gate has completed for Trigger. Avoid ray on the way. The Oracle does not find any damage. Shield battery overcharge. Good unit. Trigger does have a battery overcharge of his own. Activated and is gonna drop it. A little earlier. That said, the Oracle did get it under Christianer skin trigger saves it is going to return home and he is going to be forced to use this. These batteries are low on energy and only one gate production is a little rough. Another stalker warping in, but Big Daddy Void Ray. Well, not really Big Daddy Void Ray. Oh, trigger gets three workers, but it looks like he is going to lose this Oracle. Or is he? Damn. With just five HP, it stays in it. Phoenix coming across from trigger. Ah, that doesn't really do much. He's going into the slow field so that Phoenix looks as good as dead. He used the Phoenix to pick off, uh, pick up a Stalker to buy some time for the Oracle, not getting a, the damage he's hoping for. Worker count in favor of Trigger. And now he's going to drop the gates. He is getting the Twilight Council as well. Three gates going down in, uh, in tandem. Uh, Christianer is already on his way to Blink, though, which makes sense from his opener. Oracle going to try to go find some more damage. That 5 HP Oracle getting the work. Christiana does have a couple stalkers at the ramp, which can push the shield battery. Also going to help for pulsar beams. Oh, no trigger. Not like this. Throws away the Oracle, unfortunately. He's going into a robo as well. And against Christiana, that's not a bad idea. Christiana is posturing to take a third base trigger with the higher drone count. Is now just going to... No, he's going to mine out the gold to take his third at 6 o'clock. That said, two adepts going to try to find some value, but I think he's going to be able to. That is too many stalkers, and Blink is finishing right here. Nice cancel from Trigger. Oh, no. Trigger's even going to lose the Adepts for free. Again, he's mining out to take this base. Chris Yonner with the more standard position base as well. Trigger finishing his forge. Chris Yonner does not have one, but let's take a look at the army supplies. Looking pretty even. we got a very injured uh, Phoenix. Blink is a long ways away for Trigger. And I don't hate that he's taking 6 o'clock. Observer's going to scout the push. Trigger does have a lot of units. Again, no blink, though. Chris Yonner is going to check for the third over here. Is going to see that's mined out. Leave it. Oh, no. He's not going to. He didn't poke all the way in. He doesn't see a third there. So he thinks it's a two base trigger. And blink still not done for him. Honestly, the Phoenix could help him for a second, even. And uh, Void Ray as well. Charge on the way for Christianer, however. Uh, it's going to be a little rougher trigger. He does have Big Daddy Immortal out. Now we can say Big Daddy and actually be accurate. All right, Stalker's pushing in. Uh, we'll see what happens. Nexus is dropped for Mr. Trigger. All right, he's going to go on the aggress with the Blink. Charge could be a bit of a problem for Trigger. Uh, Christianer going into Immortals as well. He has that third base up way earlier, but Trigger did mine out the other base. So a little bit of uh, mind games. Trigger is pretty close on workers, though, so I don't think it's going to matter too much, but there are, is going to be a trifecta of Nexi producing workers for Christianer. Trigger going into Robo Bay. I like this. He's going to have the upgrade advantage, but he's not going into Charge. I really wouldn't hate the Charge. What did he recall? The Oracle. Oh, an Observer. Hmm. Yeah, I really would like to see charge foul up for trigger. Regardless, it's just charge lots be good units. There's a lot of stalkers though. Robo Bay on the way. Chris Yotter just going into plus one shield battery and photon cannon here to buy some time. Pylon is going to fall. Army supply in favor of Chris Yotter, but trigger. Yeah, he. You know, I see this often with him. He will not go charge for a long time. It's the observer stare down, folks. Look at these guys just staring each other down. All 
All right, Templar Archive's going down for Christiana, but Trigger is going Blink Stalker Disruptor. Oh, this Observer is good as dead, but army position is still revealed. At least Trigger going for Hallucination. Still posturing out here. Uh, yeah. And the first Disruptor's coming out. Oh, the Observer sniped! That was sick. The Phoenix and the Void Ray with the Stalkers just instantly disintegrating at fourth base, going down for Christiana. Trigger dropping a pile out of the front scout. Uh, and he does have some units here. Christiana kind of repostering out is going to go over. So Charge Lot Archon, I mean, Disruptors are good. Uh, with the Disruptor nerf, though, it does make battles a little interesting in this matchup. Uh, this is game two. Trigger is up a point. Game can go either way, honestly. Nice Nova catches some big hits on Christianer, but the charge lot's going to be a bit of a problem. Disruptor doesn't catch anything. Some of these stalkers filing that plus one advantage. Well, now actually evened up because the faster forge upgrades and chrono boost. Funnily enough, Christianer with two immortals and an archon. He does have a warp prism. Does the, oh no, the Sim City for Trigger. Nova unfortunately catches his Cyber Core, which is now also in jeopardy. And the fact that he doesn't have charge means if he loses this, he's not going to be able to get Stalkers out. Trigger blinks back. That is one dead core. Trigger is not rebuilding a core. Uh, Phoenix actually debating. Oh, beautiful Nova, and Dave is losing internet again. Come on, Dave. Sorry, guys. Lost internet again. I've been having some serious ISP problems. It has nothing to do with me. I think we're going to have to get on the horn with that. Nova is getting big damage. Trigger cleaning this up. Christiana is on a fourth base, but... Yeah, he's just trying to fight with a contingent of stock... Uh, zealots, rather. And the remaining stalkers even getting clean up. Four bases are not Trigger now has four bases. Christiana doesn't really have a lot of tech going into another robotics facility. Trigger could get God's work done here. Ping it, GG. Oh man. I gotta find out if I lag those guys out. You may or may not have made someone leave Kirktown because I destroyed them, ARJ. How you doing, ARJ? And guys... Let's see what happens after this. How you doing, Nush Nush? Trigger has advanced to the finals. And it's Max Pax versus Trigger. All right, so Max Pax versus Trigger. That is crazy outcome. We've seen this before in my tournaments. I'm going to be...
Trigger versus Max Packs. Max Packs versus Trigger Finals. I'm going to take just a minute between this. All right, and guys, please use those Matcherino codes. It helps out the players. Oop, Matcherino. Freaking bonehead. All right, guys, I'm going to take a minute. I need two minutes, guys. We're going to max packs versus trigger. Thank you for the follow, Alex G. Punk. We're going to go right along. Into the finals. I should say this is a $200 tournament, by the way, but anything added to the prize pool is appreciated. If anybody wants to put in a few bucks, we appreciate it, too. Helps the players. Or if you want to support the Dave. I do stream a goddamn lot. I'll probably be on tonight for a bit. Figured I'd give these guys a bit for... And we'll see what happens. I'll probably be on later on for a stream, too. It kind of sucks when we get into some big things and later, but I really appreciate the hell out of Juggernaut Jason for the raid, and everybody that's here do appreciate all the all the support. I should have actually tagged him and said, Jason, why didn't you play, man? I wanted some Jason games. They're always spicy. Maples was sleeping. That's okay. We'll give Mape the ape... Uh, a pass he probably got too high on uh, on maple booze. Fun fact, guys, if you didn't know, maples actually uh, make some mixed drinks with pure maple syrup and vodka. What a freaking madman. Forgot to mention that earlier. Leave it to the most Canadian Canadian. Well, next to SDC. See, he needs to take his drink advice from SDC because some drunk Canadian would give him some ways of uh, doing this. 
Uh, I asked for a few minutes, and the guys are taking a few, too, I think. All right. Big monster tiger? All I did was call him a monster tiger. Just kidding, we're back. And we are going into it. Just remember, Leahy, what comes around is all around. All right, guys, what comes around is all around. You got it. How you doing, Wootsicle? What's up, buddy? And again, we are on a two-minute delay for the tournament. This is a best of five finals. Spotting in the bottom right-hand corner of Babylon. Representing Psystorm Gaming, give it up for Maximus Paximus in the red. And his opponent in the upper left, give it up for Bastless Gaming's trigger. Well, let's see what happens. In this game, it is going to be a low ground versus a low ground. Probably going to be one gate expand. Is it going to be one gate Stargate versus one gate Stargate? It's crazy because Trigger also earlier on had played like this. So I think we're going to see a little bit more of this out of these two guys. But Trigger can also be aggressive. We've seen him actually beat Max Packs in previous tournaments of mine. How you doing, Jess Zerging? And uh, Darmot? Darmorts? All right. Yeah, what is that? Now nah, pylon's going down. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a double gas for Max Pax. Trigger, trying to be greedy, but Max Pax is gonna block this a bit. Nah, Trigger's going for core now. He's just gonna double gas. He knows the probe's gonna be there and be annoying. He doesn't want to risk losing it, especially against Max Pax with his probe micro. Kid is absolutely insane with it. Trigger also. Is Trigger's improving a lot, guys. How you doing, Broyevsky? Welcome, welcome. And everybody new here? Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Both players contesting the natural. Trigger's gonna get his done before Mr. Maximus Paximus, but he isn't gonna have his Stargate first. Max Pax... Also not getting a Stargate first, going Zella to death. We've, ooh. Max Pack's going for the proxy pylon. This is a spicy one. And, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Zealot is chiseling away at the pylon. Depth trying to come in after. Shield battery is getting chiseled. I like that decision from Trigger, but guess what? The other one's canceled. Oh, this is a bit rough. Are we watching Max Pax or, or Zest? He's going for the Stargate behind it with the Oracle, which is going to be annoying because all these shield batteries are forced to the front for just a few units because of the shield batteries. Max Pack's getting another shield battery. Trigger getting one of his own, but at the same time, his is going to fall. Now, that said, the shield battery, what a game. And Trigger getting some damage with this Adept over here. Uh, shield battery just finishes. He's going to deflect one Adept. That said, Stalker coming in. Max Pack's going to go out with the Oracle probably in the main base. Oh, man, that is an annoying Adept. Another Adept makes its way in. Trigger chasing the Zealot around the Zealot and the Stalker being annoying. Trigger's taking a lot of hull damage on one Zealot. 
The Oracle is going to be scouted, picking off the Zealot. Look at this. Max Pack's... Oh, my God. He's just bodying him. Poor Trigger getting bullied over here. He does have only one Stalker power in this, and I think this is going to be out DPS. Another pylon going down. These Stalkers are not coming. Warp Gate just on its way. Trigger is just getting picked apart here. These Stalkers are going to stop production, and there is going to be no more wall. Pylon absolutely going to get destroyed. The two pylons was a good idea. Trigger trying to get another one. Gets a cancel. Gets two. Second pylon to finish, but it's only power in one gateway in the warp gate. Trigger has no shield batteries here. Double oracles out. GG is called. And Max Packs being very aggressive. And yeah, uh, that is a very quick game number one. All right. Let me in. <laughs> Wootsicle, you're confused? Uh, we're just on a two-minute two, two minute delay. That's why I'm a little late to get into you guys. Anyway, he's up a point, but doesn't mean he has a guaranteed win. Falling in the up bottom right-hand corner of Neo Humanity, representing Psystorm Gaming. Give it up for Max Pax in the red. And his opponent in the upper left. Representing Basilisk. In the blue, give it up for Trigger. <laughs> Vlad, good stuff. Vlad wasn't going to be joining me. Uh, we have some technical issues and some things did not pan out as it was. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Maple. I'm just saying that was a sick game number one. I don't, and like I told you guys, we've seen Trigger actually, I think I got him three hoeing him. I had to, I recasted an old tournament the other day of a finals and Trigger three owed max packs. And that was in just the end of November of last year of 2022, which was a, Definite upset at the time, so it is possible for Trigger to take it. He's in pretty good form, but he is still against Max Pax, who is pretty cracked. Still a good run from a lot of players, and I'm sorry if you didn't make it as far as you'd hoped. There will be more tournaments. And some spicy things to come in the future. And a big shout out to Vlad. Guys, you see the Vlad 4, give him a follow. Can somebody shout him out? He put down the money again. He's a, a huge Dave supporter. Ah. He has been single-handedly carrying my Patreon with Torchion. Rhymes. Uh, Farrell, I do not live in New York City. I'm from Utica, New York. Uh, upstate New York. It is a smaller city. Uh, still one of the top 10, 5, 6, I don't know, biggest cities in New York State. Uh, dead center in the map of if you looked at a picture of New York State it's about dead center Max Pack's getting a block but Trigger's going for a two gate opener anyway uh, is he going to be aggressive? Trigger is getting a probe out but I think Max Pack's made no! Okay Trigger changed the, uh, the pathing path I'm not sure if Max Pax knows what's up he's going for an adept Trigger with the two stalkers is out uh, he doesn't have a probe in position yet he is going to be able to get it there is Trigger going to chill? Yeah he's going to camp for a shield battery to wall this off and Adept's going to be deflected back from Max Packs. 
Max Pack's a little supply blocked right now. Trigger going for a nice little... Wait, yo! Let's go! Guys, he... Trigger doing the golden wall trick. This, I've not seen anybody do this in a PvP yet. We don't... Uh, Christ, the only time I've seen this is a proxy hatch, I think. Maybe some racks. Trigger with the big brain strats. Going full NA. Let's heckin' go. The goat right here. You join me, but you're heading to bed. Hopefully the wife puts out. <laughs> well, good luck, Feral. Good luck, my man. Max Pax is holding, but look at Trigger. He's going to drop the gate, and then he's going to mine this out. I love this game. Let's freaking go. This is a sick series. I'm definitely sharing this finals with folks. Let's go. Golden Wall has returned. Voider A or not, second one on the way. Trigger is going to push right in here. Prismatic alignment's activated. Shield battery getting healed by the other. Trigger is going to disjoint Max Packs a bit, but he now has another point of locate uh, entry. This is so sick. Trigger going full NA here. He didn't build a gateway. Thanks for the follow, Kosit. Oh, man. Thank you, Dark Omega, for shouting out Mr. Vlad. The Chad. He, he's gonna be he's a little new to streaming. He's a trucker, so he's gonna be streaming from the road, which is actually cool, and he's gonna have some really fun, funny content. Zealot coming in and chisel it out. Trigger warping in some adepts behind, which is actually brilliant. Uh, but they're gonna be able to kill him, clean up the zealot, and get out of here. Uh, yep, zealot does go down. Adepts warping in, disjoining Max Packs a little bit. He wants to chase him down, but the Adept's gonna try to go to the natural. Max with not a lot of mining. Trigger is fully committed, going into a blink. Adept's getting some good work done. Max Packs is really getting pulled apart here. Trigger coming in, full NA like a madman. Has blink on the way, five workers falling for Max Packs. Max Packs is probably like, yo, dude, I might steal the strat. Uh, yo, who in chat who plays Protoss? Hell, other races. Trigger just proved you can do it. If you're Zerg, you could do it. If you're Terran, you could do it. The cheese is real. Let's go. Warp, or sorry, Cybernetics Core is dead. This gateway is almost dead. Warp Gate's not done. It's all Void Race for Max Packs. The Blink's coming, but this, oh, this is definitely a dead pylon. That's going to be three lost stalkers for sure. Uh, does he save any? He saves one. So the problem is, this is a lot of Void Rays, though. Max Pax does have the two bases, but he's not mining on gas. He does have a bank somehow. He has almost enough, so he can kind of reset. Saturate, and he does have enough units, but Blink Stalkers are going to be uh, pretty good against this. This couple shield batteries and pylons and the two cannons going to help Max a little bit. Trigger fully committed. And honestly, I wouldn't hate Trigger to take another base. It's three gate Blink. He's going for another proxy pylon. He's just going to commit. Like, he could have taken a base behind this, too, alternatively. As crazy as that sounds, uh, just from how much damage he's done. And just kept the stalker count where it was at. It's a little unorthodox of a play, but we do see it sometime. Utica Club drinker, how you doing, Parabytes? Uh, from time to time, I do drink some UC. Feral, thank you for the $20. My man. I really appreciate it, guys. Well, thank you. It is a $200 one. If you want me to put it in the tourney, I will. I will say, guys, this is how I've been making an income for a bit, is full-time streaming. Which is not my intent, totally. It'll be part of my income after when I get into new job, Reno. Coming up here. Damn, Big Daddy Immortals out. Classic Max Packs play. Now this is going to be a little bit rough for Trigger, and this is why I was saying an expansion wouldn't have been horrible. Oh, he's going to blink forward. Battery overcharges uh, is taken there. And, uh, well, this is going to be a little rougher. He's picking up Void Rays. He did get one of the Immortals. Trigger is starting to take some losses, though. Again, it's only three gate production because of it and losing that many units. Now the army supplies even in Max Packs does have Big Daddy Immortal. Another coming. Another Void Ray coming. This is what I'm saying. Is This is close, but I really wish Trigger expanded behind this. But he really could have. It would have been worth not warping in some Stalkers. Is that actually that last group of stalkers in the pylon could have been a nexus and no cap trigger is being still aggressive he wants to edit now he's committed to a point where i just don't see a way for him to do that but uh he certainly could have before but this army is just too powerful for max packs 
Luckily, Void Rays are a little slow. Immortals are a little slow. Max Pax has taken the bait to go a little forward, though. Trigger, I wouldn't have hated a couple of Zelly boys coming out. Does not have the army supply. Trigger's gonna take an Nexus now. Trying to go in, get some kills. Max Pax gonna mine out some of the gold minerals. Trigger trying to find any damage he can get. He needs a back off. GG is called, and Max Pax takes game number two. Can Trigger come back? That was a sick game. I hope you guys think so. Thank you so much, Farrell, for the $20 donation. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good, but let's see. Is it good for Trigger? Is he going to come back? And a three, two, come back. Guys, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go hang out with my girl. If this gets uh, over quick, I am going to make good to actually hang with my girlfriend because she got sick. We had crazy weather. I've not hung out with her in some weeks, so I got to go do that after because um, we don't live together here. And we could be at the last game of the finals unless Trigger pulls it off and comes back. All right, I'm going to change it up this time because we've had the same introduction each time of it. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Dragon Scales. In the blue, representing Bassless Gaming. He needs three games to win it all. Give it up for Mr. Trigger. And his opponent in the upper left. Representing Psystorm Gaming, he is up two points, just needs this match to win it. Give it up for Max Packs. Again with the low ground pylon, Trigger almost had that game. And I literally, I think earlier on, had he got that Nexus, it, it sounds nuts because it's 3-8, blank. He kept the pressure up, he got lots of damage. The army was just too hard to fight after with the uh, mount. So, you know, not being 4-8, you just don't have as much... For being an all-in so like the productions there but also your economies with four gay gets rougher when you go for blink so i understand why that happened uh funnily enough just zerging we've seen trigger b max packs by going full a &E in the past literally in a 3-0 in a previous dave tournament so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens this one trigger is he going for something cheeky? What's going on here? Two gates. He looks like he's just going to proxy Stargate or something. Probably. What would be even cooler would be a proxy Nexus. Going pilly pilly. What do you mean, you people, Vlad? <laughs> Vlad the Chad. And Mr. Probius, oof. Taking a bit of a hit here. And all my friends who run tournaments and want Dave to cast, hit me up. I've been bad because I was kind of oversaturated. My sleep schedule got screwed up. I'm a little hacked up on a lot of things. But yeah. It is going to be a proxy Twilight Council. So proxy blink from Trigger. Is this going to be more of the same? He literally left this uncontested, and I lost my internet again. Sorry about that, guys. Damn, I think we're going to... Other than for things needed, I might need to take... some time to work on my internet connection. Ooh, Trigger gonna wall this off. Is gonna complete the gate. I think he may have tipped his hat. Max Pax looking for proxies. 
It is proxy blink, and there are some units out. Max Pax doesn't scout it, however. I think he knows what's up. Trigger gonna... Ooh. Probe's still out looking for proxies. I think Max Pax may find this. Isn't just yet. Max Pax going for a Void Ray. Now, one thing I will say about Max Pax, he's going immediately for the Void Ray. This would have been a time for DTs if there ever was one. Probe goes down. That's one last bit of scouting for Max. Going right into the Void, going into another, getting ready for defense. Trigger going for the same. Proxy blink, two gate, three gate. Is he going to change it to a four gate? We'll see. Oh, Probe's right there. Max Pax so good, but the Adept... Gonna make it through, but not be able to get any damage because it's just out of range. Trigger is gonna be in for a surprise because Max Pax even has the probe guarding here. It is gonna be 48 blink this time. Trigger looks pretty all in. No shield battery though back home. I wouldn't hate to see that. But guess what? No, it's all voids for Max. He's got his third void array on the way. Not even bothering with uh, warp gate this time for now. Trigger might need a... I, I don't understand this. One sentry would be so worth. All right, Adept going in. Is he going to be able to make it in here? Oh, he is. He's going to use that for the blink. Is he going to get up in time? He is. Max Pax is well aware of this, getting a cannon and a battery here. Trigger does have some high ground. Is going to be able to blink up here because of the units. Probes are pulled. Static defense is made. That's so many freaking stalkers, though. The battery is oh, is alive. He cleans up a Void Ray. Is going to lose a stalker and three probes. I would say that is totally worth it. Max Pax with some defense here with two shield batteries and the other Void Ray. Very big brain plays from Trigger. Army supply in favor of Trigger. Max Pax losing a Void Ray is kind of rough. Doesn't have a Robo Bay this time. Trigger going to try to fight this. He knows battery overcharge was used. He's got target fire the cannon, and he could consequently blink forward, honestly, in my opinion. There's not a lot of probes. He's going to kill up one of the shield batteries, another one. He's going to jump on top of the void rays. Is Trigger back in this? Trigger cleans up yet another void. The one stalker is going to fall. I think this is just it for Trigger. GG, the immortal doesn't get out. He's back in it. We're going to a game number four, folks. Very incredible game number uh, four, too. Jeez. The one gate expand gets quite punishes. Quite punishes. Jesus. I'm talking like Ricky right now, guys, from the trailer park, boys. Just remember, Leahy, what comes around is all around. <laughs> Make like a tree and fuck off. All I can say about this tournament, guys... It's been short and sweet so far, but we've lots of replays to cover after again said another another Big time. Monster Tiger? All I did was call him a Monster Tiger. I'm just doing that between. And uh you see, it's a little different casting when uh I'm not really drunk, you know. I am the liquor. Alright, guys. Onward and upward as we go into game number four. That was game number three. He's now back up a point on Gresfin in the blue representing Bassless Gaming. Give it up for Trigger. And his opponent in the bottom right representing Storm Gaming. Give it up for Max Packs. In the red. All righty. We will see. Gateway going down into the natural. From Mr. Max Pax again. Probably another one gate expand. But we'll see. He's going out for a scout. Trigger high ground in it. Is he going to go for more of the same? Is he going to spice it up and give us something extra cheeky? I got to say, some really good games. But a nice little upset here. We had a lot of clean sweeps today, though, too. Uh, some upsets. Looking forward to cast some of the other ones. And we will see what happens. And 
Nexus going down for Maximus Paximus. And yeah. Max Pax does get his uh, natural down just fine. Trigger again going for a proxy. I wonder if he's going to do like 3-8 Robo or something, which could be a problem against Stargate. And that's why you see a lot more 4-gate play. We saw 3-gate out of Trigger before. Uh, but that said, it's nothing's really in stone. It is going to be 3-gate Robo this game, or at least 2-gates. Max Pax may think it's just the same. Proxy Pylon is tipped its hat. Uh, it's going to be a Sentry opener for Max Pax. Ooh, and he's going into Warp Gate. Max is changing it up this game, which he does sometimes. He might go for a robo. He may be sniffing this out. Okay, second gate going down for Max. So he is going gateway units. Trigger going to be like, oh, huh? Max Pax is changing it up on us now, guys. Proxy is scouted. And that's not what Trigger wants. Uh, curious to see the player Trigger to go with the Stalker out to clean up the probe. But there is going to be a Stalker. For Max Pax. Sentry does kill the probe. Big Daddy Immortal coming out for Mr. Trigger. That said, Max Pax is going to react in kind going for a robo of his own. Has the shield batteries part of the wall. He could actually go, oddly enough, I don't know if this is going to work out so well for Trigger. That uh, Immortal is going to come out pretty quickly. Stalker is going to find the Phoenix, even though the Phoenix is just going to scout what it is. Is it a warp prism? Is it a... Okay, Trigger going for another gate back home. So it will likely be a Warp Prism with this after. Which is a pretty common play. Trigger not micro in the Stalker, though, for a moment. That's uh, no bueno. Big Daddy Immortal is going to help. There are two gates, though. So another Imagine Stalker Protoss. coming for Max Packs. Trigger putting the work in. Battery overcharge is activated, though. But a little overextension for Max Packs. Trigger... Taking a lot of damage on one of these stalkers. Oops, sorry about that, guys. With just three HP. And yeah, this is quite the battle. Big Daddy Immortal coming out from Max Pax as well. But uh, Trigger is going to have a Warp Prism. So he's going to go to the other side. He's going Warp rather than another Immortal. Max Pack certainly going to go for two Immortals. Trigger's probably going to follow up with another. Third Gate's finishing up. Two Stalkers in position for the Warp Prism, but we'll see what happens. Honestly, Trigger going up there wouldn't be too bad. Big Daddy Immortal or not. Ooh, Immortal in the front line taking some damage. Is Trigger going to micro it? Yes, he picks it up. I don't think he took hull damage. No, he didn't take hull damage in the Immortal. That's pretty big. Shield Battery's getting drained. Last one does have some energy. Trigger getting another Immortal of his own. Max Pax, his second is going to pop. But if he kills Warp Gates, that's pretty good. Max Pax not getting too greedy on building probes right now because he can't. One of the gates falling is pretty good for Max Pax. But at the same time, his Warp Prism needs to stay alive. He needs to buy time, and he can't lose these Immortals. Two Immortals versus two Immortals, but he has to disengage because of battery overcharge. Now would be a time to jump up into the main. Trigger's going to retreat for a minute. And what's going on? He's warping in a couple of adepts. Actually, even taking the warp prison in with two adepts would be smart. The wall is scuffed, though, and adepts can certainly find their way in here. And actually, enough, funnily enough, they kind of tickle immortals a little bit, helping the two adepts. Yeah, there's a lot of stalkers for Max Pack still. Even losing that gate, he built some more. Uh, trigger with some sentries, too, is pretty nice. Not using the adepts for shades but kind of going to help the fight against sentries and such. Look at these force fields. Max Pax being very aggressive, trying to punch in here, trying to break the barrier on the shield battery. His back immortal in a lot of trouble. His other immortal in a lot of trouble. Max Pax trying to save today with the warp prism. Trigger is absolutely bodying into this, however, but these immortals with massive damage are going to prove to be a problem. Max Pax is going to have a third immortal out, but losing all this is kind of rough. My god, Trigger is just pulverizing through this, but the game is not over. There's a shield battery on the high ground. And again, I, I really wouldn't have hated to see some more of this. We don't have Zealots. It's all Adepts. I wouldn't have hate some Zealots, honestly, against all these Immortals and such. And some chopping power on the structures. Oh, Trigger out of position with his Warp Prism. GG, we're going to game five. Let's go.
Did I not call it we're going to have a game five, folks? I have to put the plot twist, but I had a feeling. These two always put on some really good series. And this is the last game of the tournament for today. Very, very, very cool stuff. Trigger throwing again. Uh, Fries, from all the smack talk you do, he is not throwing again. We got to do a game five against Max Pax in the finals. And he's clean swept a lot of opponents earlier on. This is a sick series. Spawning in the upper right hand corner of altitude. Can he take it for Psystorm Gaming? Give it up for Max Packs in the red. And his opponent in the bottom left. Represent representing Basilisk Gaming in an impressive comeback. Give it up for Trigger in the blue. Going for a low ground as well. Trigger didn't really have as good of results with one gates. Doesn't mean it's going to have to be that. He could actually bait into a two gate. Low ground or something similar. Max Pax also with some very aggressive play in one of the games, too. The trigger actually steamrolling in with that three gate robo in uh, the previous game. Bringing it back. Yeah, that last game was definitely not a throw. It was, uh,. There were some smart moves. It was just looking a little dicey with the Immortal play. Trigger. Oh, he's trying to take a base. Could be psyching Max out, though. I think he wants to one-gate it again. That's a bold move. I think he's test. Uh, there's something to be said about this. So Trigger. Oh, no. He's not going to block the Max Packs. He's going to let him take the Nexus. This could be intentional. You know what I like? would have liked to see, guys? A Zealot being chronoed over here. Giddy up. Thanks for the follow. Shazoo. I cannot believe this. We have a game five. And uh, Max Pax is delayed on his expansion, which he was all prepared for before. No other tech. Zealot's forced out. Trigger gets his Nexus first. Max Pax now on a change of plans. Trigger. Barely keeping this probe alive, but is definitely finding the value. Thanks for the follow, Josh Powell. Sick, sick start to the game. Max Plax, Pax's uh, plans have been changed. I've seen a little bit of pressure like we saw Giddy from Christiana earlier. And thanks for the follow, Pacau. New followers always appreciated. Nexus is going down in the natural. And guys... Follow, uh, subscribe to my YouTube. It's free. All my tournaments, even the drunk one I did the other day, which was very embarrassing, where Rattata beat Cure. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I actually casted a series without my stream. I was so drunk, which was really embarrassing. But still, I put it up there. It was a little bit like a blooper reel, but it was a sick tournament. Trigger now playing the Stargate opener. Max Pack's going to have his first, of course. Oracle coming down. Worker count pretty even. Uh, Depth going to make its way in. No, it is not. Trigger's now going to be in position for a shield battery to block. There's a Stargate versus a Stargate Trigger. Oh, does get the battery and pulls the probe away. There is going to be no health damage to the Adept. And uh, Oracle is going to follow its way back for Trigger. Trigger just now dropped the shield battery. Stalk just one Stalker versus an Oracle is not what you like to see. Trigger is going to pull back out of position. The Adept is still chilling there for Max Pax. As you know, he likes the micro like a madman. Trigger knows or anticipates an Oracle, but he's out of position. Trigger. Oh, no, not like this. Four plus workers falling. Little late shield battery. The Stalkers were just out of position. I think he was expecting something a little more aggressive for Max Pax, but he does go find five workers still. Worker count pretty even. Trigger did have his Nexus before. 
Max Pack's going to have his Twilight Council quite earlier and is going for another gate. So he will get that blink out a little earlier. Double Oracle means double the trouble. Trigger is actually posturing with his three Stalkers down there. He's fully walled. I uh, killed the Stargate. No, he canceled the Star... Okay. Never mind Max Pack's... I don't hate that from Trigger. I think he canceled the Stargate. Let's take a look. Yeah. So Max Pack's getting more workers with the Oracles, but at the same time, he does have four Stalkers here. And he does not get the second Stalker. These units are going to breach the wall. Trigger is going to be not supply. Yeah, it's not quite supply block here. They're both on even supply. Adapt going to make its way in. Max Pack's with a sick micro. Uh, is going to be annoying even more. The saving that Oracle was big. The fact that Trigger got one was also nice, though. Trigger now with the army supply advantage for now. Max Pax is going to have Blink faster. Like I said, two more gates dropping. Trigger just on two gates. Uh, Oracle's coming out. Trigger going for a fast third. and even evades the Adept. Very good play from Trigger. He does have a Stalker right here, but Trigger's going to go try to find some counter damage. There's a shield battery, of course, from Max Pax. In the wall in his fashion. The century right here is going to be pretty nice if Trigger can find some footing. But Blink being done earlier means Max Pax is going to have a good defender's advantage. He's looking for proxy pylons. Trigger. Unless he's going to set one up. Getting some value. If Max Pax took a cheeky third right there, which I highly doubt it, that would be friggin' awesome. Yeah, I need to get back to podcast again. In fact, I stopped paying for my RSS service, so I got to get to a free one after. But I do have some plans for some podcasts this year, and I'm actually going to pull through with it. I did have some players uh, say they would, they would do it. Nexus is going to finish up here. We'll see what happens. Both players do have Blink. And Trigger is... Is he going to aggressive Blink? He is. I actually don't hate that so much in the case because Max Pax was target firing, but same time he took a lot of hull damage on these stalkers with just 20 hp about a piece uh he's gonna get another snipe though but at the cost of another stalker max Pax has superior numbers right there trigger going for a forge and a robo with this but he has no shield battery down here and max Pax has an attack of opportunity moment trigger with some decent micro however does he get a force field and no he doesn't uh still trades going okay triggers lost more but it's actually even and out a bit. Max Pack's not taking any worker damage, but he was a little delayed on some of this. He's going to have a later third. Trigger with the three base production is pretty nice. Max Pack's with a proxy here. I wouldn't even be surprised. You know, nah, he's just going to do a depths. I don't think we're going to see anything too cheeky yet. And there we have it, folks. Probius going down. It is scouted from Trigger. The two Adepts are there and a proxy pylon. He's not going to have the wall plug, though, and there's not much back home to defend. Two Adepts going to get God's work done. Trigger had to defend it. No, he's being aggressive on the other side. I don't know how much I agree with this, but he might get some good work done. Still, two Adepts going to get God's work done on Worker 7 falling for Trigger. Shield battery finished for Max Packs, but not before it was unpowered. Trigger has some very dan uh, damaged stalkers, and that's about it. Oh my god, so many workers going down, but Trigger actually killed 10 workers of his own. He's going to retreat. He's on his back. Actually, he has more army supply, but it's a little disjointed. He's not mining on his natural because there's a lot of action going on. Trigger with two more stalkers, catching even more workers. is going to blink away. He's finding the counter damage he has, and this is a sick game again. I would like to see the shield battery from Trigger. He's going to try to take a fourth base because he's a greedy boy. Big assault from... Max Pax, is he going to check out for a fourth? I highly doubt it. But Trigger is... Oh, my God. No! Trigger out of position. He needs to save these probes, but this base looks like it's in jeopardy. Is Recall going to finish? There's just superior numbers for Max Pax. But Big Daddy Immortal's all going to get a couple hits. Going to try to help buy some time. Still, Trigger has to be careful. Sick big warp, and Max Pax scouts his other base, which is in trouble. That one stalker actually being pretty helpful for Trigger. Okay, Max Pack Stalker's starting to take a beating as well. Uh, plus one on the way for Max Pack. Trigger already has plus one at an advantage. Uh, we'll see what happens. They're so aggressive with the gateway tech. It's not Max Pack's just now getting his fourth as well. Uh, we don't see any other tech. Trigger going into more Immortals. I wouldn't hate Disruptors. 
The Immortal's not really doing too much. He got It did help in that flight to save it, but that Nexus is pretty battered. He is getting a shield battery just now. It was an extensive haul damage, but definitely enough. Trigger chiseling at the rocks for the gold base. Looking like he wants to take it. This Nexus is in trouble. That's a lot of stalkers, but Max Pax has to be careful. Trigger has a pretty big army. Big Daddy Immortal may help right there a little. Uh, Dark Shrine coming from Max Pax. Trigger does have observers. Oh no, Max Pax has observers. Trigger has none. No observers. DTs can just win the game. There's another proxy from Max Pax going in with two adepts. We know Max Pax loves his DTs. And hopefully Trigger is cognizant of this. He is dropping some photon cannons. No, that's Max Pax. Max Pax is prepared for cheekiness. But Trigger, not so much. Gonna warp in another Stalker back here. To try to mitigate some damage. But he keeps losing workers, even with the fourth base done earlier. Max Pax long distance mining on the other side of the map. What a banger. All right, with that said... Double Immortals, that's it. Trigger just now getting an Observer. I do like this. Robo Bay coming from Max Pax. He's teching up more. He's gotten better trades on workers for sure. Overall better trades, but Trigger's been doing a damn jo good job. Catching army value is huge in PvP just as much. It's not that much different than, uh, than uh, TVT in that regard. When you're making those trades, we've definitely seen so many games in macro games where if the army's lost, oh, DT is caught. Trigger now knows there's Dark Templar. There's a Zealot chill in here. Do we have charge for Max Pax? Yeah, he has charged. Trigger's at a tech deficit. He's going to have an upgrade lead marginally, but now there's going to be disruptors. Trigger's just purely on gateways. And that's an unfortunate situation. Stalker's chasing the Zealot. Oh, oh. and uh, DT and Zealot going to be getting damage. Oh, no. Okay, there's a Photon Cannon here. Stalker in the wall is going to hold this trigger, trying to put pressure on the fourth. Massive army for Max Packs, but they're pretty even. This is all cleaned up. Good defense from Trigger, actually, all after all. He has to be careful of this Disruptor, however. That is a bit of a problem if he does not scout it. Okay, Trigger does have another Observer over here as well. Doesn't know about the remade proxy pile on Max Packs. Doing some crazy work right there. How you doing, Snow Bants? Just an absolute banger of a series. Zelly Boy running in. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Fifth base going down for Trigger, though. He's playing the greed game. Trigger just now going into Disruptors, getting another robotics facility. Funnily enough, right around the same time as Max Pax, Zealot's going to scout the fifth base and Trigger. Max Pax going to go take a fifth base pretty soon, but he knows there's a lot of pressure over here. He has to be careful, but this is a pure stalker army from Trigger. Zealot going to chisel at the pylon. Trigger warping stuff in. He's just now getting charged at 12 and 19. Very classic Trigger play. And you guys thought this was going to be all over really quick. Surprise! It is not going to be the case. Uh, disruptors slowly coming in on the other side for Trigger. Max Pax certainly leading in Disruptors. D uh, another proxy gate coming for Max Pax. Bananas! Ooh, else. The Disruptor is scouted. Nova just zoning back, but not actually founding too much. One of the observers sniped. Or trigger by Max Pax. Okay. Ooh, kind of a crazy little fight over here. We do have... Oh, they, yeah, that disruptor looks like it might be dead. Uh, not the biggest connect for Max Pax, but still, and I'm losing internet again. I, I do apologize. Hopefully you guys saw that as it caught up. I cannot help it. It's my internet. Oh, no. Trigger being greedy. Losing 400 minerals for nothing. Charge not quite complete. He's going for a dark shred of his own. It's now the late game. Stalker's chasing zealots. You don't like to see it. Trigger actually finding momentum. He's going to pounce on the fifth base over here. That's a lot of DTs for Max Pax, which could become Archon's huge charge. A lot run by the lots of static defensive trigger. However, Disruptor's back here. Big Daddy Immortals helping out quite a bit. Disruptor catching for Trigger. He's trying to find the value. He's pouncing on top of the Disruptors. They are going to make some connections, but Trigger taking the better fight. Oh, man. Disruptors over here. Trigger trying to kill the robotics facility. He has so many stalkers. The upgrade's so good. DT's running back. Are going to maybe pick off reinforcements. 
Yeah, oh no, they're gonna just pounce back in. Do we have Shadow Stride? We do for Max Packs. He loves it. As we know, Max Packs loves his DT micro. So we're gonna see more of a trigger where the beautiful flank does lose some flanking units. Seven probes going down and more. The fourth base in jeopardy for trigger. Another base trying to go down, but the stalker's hitting a bit. Trigger's just devastatingly pushing on the other side very aggressively. He has charge of his own. Max Packs gonna have plus three trigger. Already has it. Neither going into shields. I don't think it matters as much as the disruptors wars with this much aggression. The base gets sniped by the DTs. This base is in jeopardy, but Trigger tr killed. Oh my god. Max packs technically with two drops. Trigger's gonna have to cancel this. He needs that money. Trigger, cancel it. He's not gonna have time. There's so much DPS because he's going to aggress again. Uh, Trigger looks like he's in a rough spot. He does have the observer, but the DTs making their way in again. Trigger, we need a recall or something. We need a battery overcharge. There's a lot of cannons, but they're just getting shredded. The DPS of the DTs, just too much. Trigger trying to warp in some zealots. He has a disruptor coming. Is it gonna find anything? Photon cannon gonna help with some of the DTs, but that looks like that is one dead robotics facility, or is it? Max Pack's gonna blink out of here and retake this base. Sick game. Oh my god, what a banger at the end of this tournament. Trigger finally gets a cancel. I think that might have been a kill over there again. It was a kill again. Oh no, Disruptor getting picked off is not what Trigger needs. Trigger's gonna go try to counter. It's a bit of a base trade. And I don't know how much I like this for Trigger. He does have the larger army supply though. A recall could be huge. He just morphed in a bunch of stalkers as a Disruptor of his own. But he has to be careful not to lose these stalkers to the other stalkers. Not a lot here, but Trigger is gonna push very hard. Over on this side, Max Packs with DTs again. Oh my God, this is sick. Still very well played by both players. I think that Max Packs with DTs may give him the upper hand, but Trigger's still massively leading the army supply, cleaning up the disruptors. Trigger needs a recall. I wouldn't hate a recall the main. Nice disruptor connection though. Trigger catches two disruptors, lots of stalkers, and we are still on game on. Trigger actually has DTs of his own warp and save it in a base. He's now ahead of base. Is Trigger going to do it? He has the army supply. He's cleaning up a lot of the DTs. There's just so much Trigger here. And he isn't recalling. All right, I like this. He's splitting off. DTs are ultimately going to kill this base. He doesn't have a lot over here. He's some static, but there's so many. Actually, not that many DTs. Trigger needs to save some bases. The one that opens down. Another is going to connect and clean it up. And Trigger wins the finals in a 3-2. Very well played by Trigger and Maximus Paximus. But Trigger does it again. He's won a couple tournaments. In fact, I have to pay him out from when we had it. We have Matrino codes for that. Guys, please help out the tournament today. And I have another one. If you guys could use some codes, please and thank you. That was a sick, sick finals. Just a three-hour tournament, but you know what? Goddamn good games. Thank you so much to Vlad, and I believe Billy Utters is putting up the rest for it. And uh, three games. So very well done. GG's. And thank you to all the players for playing. Guys, I have to go do some stuff with my girlfriend. I may be back later. Uh, we will see what happens here. We will see what happens here. I'm going to take a look at something. I'm just waiting for this all to catch up. 
And I gotta thank Vlad and Billy Utters. He's gonna come, Billy Utters is gonna come through, but first, Vlad the Fourth. I gotta shout him out real quick. Poor Jumi. I won't okay, we'll wait to see your games. All right, everybody. Thank you much. Uh, Got to do my quick shout outs here real quick. Again, Vlad, Billy Utters, for Jumi and chat for playing, Chris Gianner, uh, everybody that played, Janio, uh, Kano casted as well. Giddy up. And thank you for the foul. Not too late to hit the foul. And guys, check out my YouTube. This will be on there. We're going to have a recast. And that is a sick, thick finals. In the future, we will have more tournaments. Roddy even said he wants to play, especially if there's double elims. So if I set them up a little earlier, we might have some double elimination tournaments, depending on how stuff goes for the funding. <laughs> 